Ah, lovely. We are live. Hello, everybody. Israel Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. It has been a very long time since I last streamed the 1 2 1. Actually, if I remember correctly, I haven't even done a 1 2 1 specific showcase. It was about three years ago when I streamed the tech tree, and I think around two years ago, last time I made a video on it. It's been a while. Not because the tank is bad, I just. Forgot about it, I guess. Never really got around to it. So I figured, you know what? <clears throat> Let's do a one to one focus stream. A lot has changed in the three years since this tank has been released. Lost a degree of gun depression over the front. Armor profile got slightly better. Mobility, I think, got slightly worse. Got tungsten shells, right? Um, Gunpowder as well. So, you know, there's some differences in the vehicle, and I think it's worth revisiting it for another kind of showcase. And I hope you guys are excited because this is a pretty popular tank if I am not mistaken. Again. Hello to everybody in chat. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you very much for joining me here on this fine Saturday afternoon. Uh, and hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Please do smash that like button. It does support the channel and I do very much appreciate that. All right. Hey, howdy fans. How are you? Good to see you again. Thank you, Lewis. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Just got this tank. Hey, well, hopefully this, this stream will be somewhat helpful for you. You can see what the tank plays like or, or how I how I would kind of play it usually. Um, wait, what's the damage per minute? Running calibrated, you're going to have 3,100 GPM if you are oh, almost th basically 3,200 damage per minute if you're running calibrated in double food. Um, if you opt for rammer, you can get that GPM up to 3,440, which is pretty nice. Uh, but the one to one doesn't have the best heat pen and in the current meta, I'm I found myself kind of leaning towards calibrated and more of my meds recently uh, just to give me that 320 heat pen because trust me 290 <laughs> 290 heat pen ain't it chief and tier 10 that is not it you'll struggle to even pen like 62s I swear so I'm running calibrated for now uh let's go another stream yes yes like the stream guys thank you very much blitz gaming adk good evening good evening <clears throat> okay so one two one Kind of a cult classic, I think. Ever since it's been released, it's very unique with its 420 alpha damage. Well, when it was first released, if I remember correctly, it only had 400 alpha damage. Uh, or was it? Or was that during test? I don't remember. This was several years ago. My memory doesn't go back that far very well. But uh, yeah, it's good. It has high alpha. It has decent mobility. It has decent armor. It has pretty bad gun depression. And it has both good and terrible accuracy at the same time. By that, I mean it's on movement dispersion is just hideous, but it has a very fast aim time, 2.2 seconds with the aim time equipment. And so it aims in very fast. So it's bad at on the move shots. It's bad at snapshots, but you give it a couple seconds to aim in and it really can hit pretty well. Not the most accurate fully aimed in, but I do find this tank to be a bit more of a medium to close range gun. In terms of its utility, that's what it's best for. You're not going to be a Leo 1 where you're sniping across the map. And hi, Bobby. How's it going? Um, yeah. And as, as far as the armor profile goes, it has a decent amount of upper plate armor if you angle it. But it's nothing I would rely upon too much. The turret is also pretty good. But the hatches and the flat portions around the turret can get overmatched by most premium rounds. So something to just be aware of on this vehicle and I believe it has what six degrees of gun depression around the sides and five over the front something along those lines it's one of those weird tanks that's more gun depression over the sides and the front which kind of sucks because it used to just have six degrees all around but when it got PBR it lost a degree at the front I guess it is what it is nothing you can do too much about it but yeah overall tank hasn't changed too much let's just play some games get a feel for it I would recommend, or here's what I run on the tank, is the adrenaline tungsten rounds combination, which basically increases your alpha to around 480 while the tungsten's activated, and that just gives you that massive boost in DPM that you need to help clear some vehicles, especially in a 1v1 brawl. So I do like running double um, tungsten and adrenaline. It's a little bit risky though, because I'm only running a single repair, and oh, hey Bobby, you can see the bobbers has just jumped up onto my lap. Hey, there, there we go. Um, I would also recommend choosing between high-end consumables or consumable delivery system. It depends. If you want the tungsten rounds to last longer, this would increase the duration by 30%. Or if you want them back faster, you can reduce the cooldown by 15%. Actually, a pretty important piece of equipment for tanks with tungsten. I do opt for the 30% duration just because I usually only activate my tungsten shells once, maybe twice. Uh, in a game, if that. And so I'd prefer them to last longer for that DPM farm when I need it. That's about it for equipment. Let's jump into some games and hopefully cook. And Bobby is now trying to sleep on my lap. Yeah, yeah get yourself comfortable. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Adrenaline tungsten plus purple cooldown boosters. You know, I would use more purple cooldown boosters, but since this is like a newer press account, I literally have no boosters. Like, well, I have some, but I don't have the hundreds of boosters, the thousands of boosters that I do in my old press account or my main account. So that kind of sucks. I mean, I, I have 14. Let's go. Let's run all 14. So let's jump right on into it. First game, we're on Mayan Ruins. Um, uh, audio's a little loud on my end. Okay. 30B, M46 Patton, we should, in theory, be able to clear the med side, and you can see the mobility on the 1 to 1. It does reach that 55, 56 kilometer an hour top speed, but it's a bit sluggish. It's a bit boat-like. In terms of its acceleration, its traverse speed, it's not optimal, I would say, uh, but it gets the job done. Now, one thing we'll have to be concerned about is the fact that my allies all appear to be going towards the town side. At least my heavy tanks, instead of covering mid, I would have really preferred it if they had covered mid, but I will at least try and spot the crossing to see if the enemy team send heavy tanks over towards this. Okay, the minimap's glitched out. It says there's a tank spotted, but there actually is not a tank spotted. That's crazy. Okay, good stuff, Wargaming. All right, so we have a 30B here. Mr. Patton's over here as well. There could be a lot of TDs around the corner, which I'm a bit concerned about, and I'm still trying to watch my rear. So it looks like the enemy heavy tanks are not really here. Let's put a quick shot into this Patton, and you can see that in the extremely fast aim time allows you to very comfortably hit shots like that on the Mr. Patton, and there is... Mr. Waffen Traeger, who I do not have enough gun depression to shoot because, yay, five, six degree gun depression life, big suck. Um, I don't know if this patent's just going to keep capping. I don't want to overextend yet. Let's see. Looks like Mr. Patton is still attempting the cap. I'll see if I can pick up a clear on him here. There we go. Nice, quick, and easy clear. We know the Jagdpanzer E100 is not on this side of the map either, so I think we can actually get ready to start pushing over here. Now, unfortunately, not able to snap that shot in, but I'm going to go for the cap here. And my allies are going to push this 30B, and when he does, he's just going to make a break for it. So that's what I'm, that's when I feel like I can pop the tungsten shells and just start going ham. So tungsten shells activated. This dude should get down, taken down pretty quickly here. Let's see if the grill is a spall. No spall, so the tungsten HE rounds are going to hit even harder. And this is why I'm running the delivery system for a scenario like this, where there's lots of easy farmable tanks right in front of me. And I'll have that just very long duration tungsten shell. So let's put another shot into this grill. There we go. And because of the delivery system, I was comfortably able to get four tungsten shots in over here. I am now, unfortunately, out of HE rounds, but it's not the end of the world. We're just farming up. 3.4k. This is what we love about this tank. This dude's about to get annihilated by the Yag. Yeah, he didn't have a spell either. R.I.P. to the German TDs. And that's it. Game over, right? That was a very fast sweep. I just waited to push in for with my allies instead of overextending early. And it worked very well for this tank. And <laughs> ripped, the, uh, ripped the enemy team. They don't have much left. Watch me get Amaracked by a Yag. That would be kind of memes. I I'm sure at some point this stream, I'm going to get Amaracked. I mean, it's just kind of a given in these kind of Sylvia-esque Chinese or Chinese type of tanks. They just don't have the best Amaracks. Oh my! We hit those shots! Okay, 3.8k damage dealt. Not too shabby. This Yo's probably about to get um, hit by the... Oh, okay, M60, buddy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not try and, and drive right along me like that. That's just going to screw both of us over in our damage antics. Okay. Yag's probably pre-aiming. I'm not going to be the first one to yellow around, though, so that's fine by me. Okay, Yag is not definitely not pre-aiming. Let's put a quick shell into Mr. Yo here. M60 sending it. Very good, very good. Yes, 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 yes. Let's talk the tungsten again. There we go. Oh, high roll plus a fire. Very saucy indeed. Uh, Mr. M60 is face hugging a Yag, so I guess I'll just I guess I'll just take care of uh, the Yo on my own. Excuse me, M6, uh, M60, you don't want to die, right? There you go. <laughs> All right, well that was easy, uh, easy cleanup. Our have, our TDs took way too long to get back into the fight. Not a bad first game, but you could definitely see the advantage of having those tungsten shells there, like that Alpha and that poor Grill. I mean, how much damage did we do to the Grill with three shots of tungsten? It had to be what 1600. Yeah, 1687 damage. And that's because he didn't have a spell, fortunately. Um, so you add on top of that the 486 damage, basically with four shells doing well over 2000 damage there because the tungsten uh, and the HE just combined really well. That's kind of the play style of the one to one, right? You want to wait for the right moment to really just get into the action with your tungsten adrenaline combination. Uh, but you don't want to overextend too much in this tank i feel personally it's a bit easy to get carried away when you do have tungsten and adrenaline and you're just like i got tpm for days um i still prefer to play this tank slightly more passively off the bat and then move and then get a little bit more aggressive late game once i know i can do that comfortably hi fan is happy easter thank you very much happy easter uh namir 
Hello, get more HE ammo. Low key, I feel maybe I should get more HE ammo, but not every game is gonna be HE like HE farm fest, so usually three is enough. But maybe I should carry four. Maybe I should drop uh, a couple AP rounds or a couple heat rounds for that. I'm gonna spot the case for now. All right, we are already spooted, so there is probably someone either in that bush or in the bush on my right. Let's take a blind shot just in case, or it's the Kara that spotted me on his way to the caves, and we'll just have to watch out. Now, fortunately, my whole team is here. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, it's a grill. Now, this one does have a spall liner, so there was a tank in that bush. Go figure. I uh, didn't realize at the time. Well, I knew that it was either in that bush or that bush on the right, so I, I had the right idea. Um, Alrighty. Let's see, can we comfortably poke Mr. Yag? There we go, quick shell into him. I haven't even popped my tungsten yet. We've already done 1,200 damage here. Let's pop the adrenaline though here. Uh, we can probably get away with it. There we go, tungsten now. I'm actually gonna use it to help start picking up kills on these dudes clear a little bit faster. Although maybe it was a bit of a waste to use my tungsten just now. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this building as cover from the Yag and start pushing in from the right hand side here. Might be able to clear out this grill, but he's gonna die to the IS-7 before that happens. And we will want to watch out for Mr. 183. Do we get another tungsten shell in, right? And that's what that 30% duration actually allowed me to get an extra tungsten shell out before it was over. I don't want to overextend. Okay, well, we know where the 183 is now, so that's good news. I was concerned about the 183's position as he was unspotted. Uh, but he looks like he's waiting for our grill here. The 183 has just fired his gun, so that's good news. And we can now start pressuring a little bit more here. We'll have to watch out for the heavies though. Okay, we know the Kronwagen is like kind of just chilling in Narnia. Well, that's a W. Um, we do have a wild 183 here. Can't quite hit him like that, but it's okay. Actually, might be able to rotate out for the Kron now. This might work out for me. Yeah, we can probably YOLO out for this Kron a bit. Well, a bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe not fully, actually. Do I have any support? I do have a Minerato with me, so that's 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 the good news. Minerato is with me. Mr. Kron's going to push up into Mr. Minerato. Um, and then it's gonna be Jover for him. Yeah, it's it's already Jover for him. There we go. Okay, so my rear is safe. My rear is indeed safe. I wonder if we can HE his engine deck. In theory, I can. Lovely. One HE shell into Mr. Kron. We'll just keep an eye on how things are progressing around me here. Um, put another shot into Mr. Kron's engine deck. Catch him on fire. He should get taken down by the Mentara there. Good stuff. Uh, if Mr. 183 wants to push up here to try and shoot at me, he totally can be my guest. But I think he probably is not going to be able to AP pen me here. So quick heat shell to him there. Good stuff. And that should put me at about 3.6k damage or so with the fire included. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get one more shot off. Let's be nice and expensive here with the tungsten for the heat. But even with heat, the tungsten brings my alpha up to 440 or so. Very nice. Easy game. Uh, tungsten or adrenaline if you want to have two repair kits. Um, that's going to be something that you would have to decide. I basically will always run single repair because I'm a, I'm a risky, risky little piggy like that. But it's hard to say because adrenaline gives you that guaranteed DPM. So that's nice, right? Uh, but on the other hand... We also have <laughs> we also have the problem with low rolling for kills and tungsten can be very nice to just guarantee a kill. Like say it takes on 440, 450 hit points. A tungsten will almost guarantee pick up that kill. Whereas if you didn't have tungsten, it would be much more of a gamble. Like a, you know, you would have like a, a 40, 50% chance maybe even of picking up that kill. If even 40 or 50, right? It's a lot more, it's a lot more RNG based. It kind of removes the degree of RNG. So. It kind of depends on what scenarios you think you'll find yourself in more often. One where it'll be necessary to have the alpha to pick up a clear. One where you feel you'll need more of that consistent DPM for farming. But I think tungsten you can't really go wrong with. Uh, it's just knowing when to activate it and when to use it. That's important. Okay. So. Let's see. They have a Karo and they have a lot of holdout heavy. So I'm not going to overextend just yet. They could still send a lot of their tanks over towards this side of the map. And I'm just waiting it out to ensure it's safe for me to push up. Now that we know where the Kron is, I think it's fairly likely. Okay, well, we know where the Minotaro is as well. It's definitely likely that their team is not on this side of the map. But, uh, oh boy, that is a 4005. Let's put a quick tungsten shell into him there. Mr. 4005 has been overextended slightly. Okay, but it looks like no one else really has shots on him. There is an ISM. Let's put a quick heat shell into him. There we go, 430 damage dealt with the tungsten heat rounds. Love that alpha damage. And I think what we can probably do here is actually start pressuring Mr. IS-7 and the 
Gorilla 15, I mean, not the Gorilla 15, the 4005. Let's put a quick shot to the IS-7 here. Getting that last tungsten shell out. Now they're going to get pushed on from behind, so I'm going to focus the 4005 here because he has a nasty magazine. And, oh, no spall. Lovely. We can maybe get one more shell into him before it's all Jover over here. My teammates are getting wrecked on the flank, so we'll definitely want to be pretty quick here, clearing out tanks like Mr. IS-7. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want to lose all of our allies too quickly here. There we go. And I think what I'll do now is wait for my camo to reset. Instead of going for a haul down Kron, probably push on back over to see if I can start dealing with the flank here. Because they're going to be pushing onto our VK-72. Well, their whole team is definitely pushing onto our VK-72 here. So let's see. Minotaro, you're going to give me a side shot in a moment. Right, buddy? One of you guys? Any of you guys? Side shots, please. Oh, uh, no. The Minotaur is looking my way now. It's like he knows I'm here. Let's see. Is anyone on my team rotating back? Okay, maybe a blind shot heat shell into the Minotaro. That might pen. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know if I want to stay here because I could get yelled by a Karo and one other tank. So I do have to be a little bit careful. There we go. Quick heat shell into the E5 here. So we know where the E5 is and we know where the BZ is as well. So that's good news for me. Put a quick shot into the VZ maybe. Unfortunately, failing that one. But I do have the tungsten activated. So that's a W. Let's see if this Minotaur pulls forward here. Pull forward a little bit more, buddy. Maybe Mr. E5? No, not, not Mr. E5. Oh, come on. Oh, and that is a Karo yellowing in on me. That is what I call not good. <laughs> this tank can grief me very easily. And we are in a one versus two scenario. As there is also a T125 pushing up on me here. So... I'm going to need to pull down a little bit. We're going to need to get shot towards his tracks, maybe. And, yep, RNG said nope to that one. So, no track shot for Mr. Caro here. Uh, and this might be where I end up dying. Although, we do manage to get one ricochet. So, that's a W. Going to have to pull back from Mr. E5 here. Caro shoots me one more time. And E5 is rotating back for me now. So, did he use his reserve shell? If he uses his reserve shell, that's a W. That's a W. I think he did use his reserve shell. W. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Can I run fast enough from D5? I think I can. Whew. Alright, so I've been sweating on the 1v2 over here. Woo. Quick engine deck shot. Huge fire. Let's go. Let's go. The E5 has been caught out quite severely here. Unfortunately, he does hit a track shot into me. But one more pen and then we can just back up safely from him, I think. There we go. Give my team an opportunity to provide me some assistance here, hopefully soon. And he did manage to hatch snipe me, so, you know, the one to one hatches are not impervious to getting penned. Uh, and Mr. E5 here. Hmm. I gotta kill him before the Kron comes back, but the problem is, will I be able to spot him? There we go. Hatch not. <laughs> it's not. Hatch shot. Okay. So, that puts me at close to 6,000 damage this game. Had to do the one versus two. Now I'm one versus two again. Um, and I do not know how I feel about it. Let's see. Is this dude likely to push into me? That's the real question here. Where would be the safest position for my tank in this type of scenario? One where I could kill the BZ would be optimal, but the Kron's also going to be maybe pushing in for me here. Um, dang, this is going to be a bit of a sweaty scenario. They're on cap too. Let's see. Where am I likely to be most effective? Is the real question. The well, problem is the Kron's kind of an unknown anomaly right now. He was last spot in the mid. I don't know if he's the one on the cap. There's a good chance he could be. Oh, 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 there's the Kron. Alrighty. Let's put a high explosive shell into him there to try and make him a one shot. Alrighty. He's shooting HE at me as well, though, so this is bad news for me. Let's see if we can bait him into the open. He'll think I'm reloading for a very long time. But I might be able to out-reload him here a little bit. Nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is act like I'm yellowing from this end over here. Should get unspotted right about now. Then we're going to do a little bit of a debate. Let's see. 53 seconds left and a dream. Ah, oh, dang, did he spot me? Yeah, he totally spotted me. That's a rip. 
Which way is he? And where does he have shots on me, maybe? I don't think he spotted me yet. W. Woof! Uh, <laughs> 6,600 damage, got the pool's medal, got the, well, it, technically in the end it was one versus four there, really. <laughs> uh, sweaty, my gosh, our, uh, our PK, he did not have a good game. Oh my goodness. The sweaty, the sweaty gameplay, let's go. 190,000 credits profit, let's go. That's what we're talking about. Oh, I love tungsten, dude. Tungsten's so good. It allowed me to just comfortably take some of those 1v1s. Grand finals. I know, Dragon. Clutch. Thanks, Maria. Oh. Oh. Sweaty gameplay. My gosh. <laughs> Got pushed by the E5 and the Karo. Then I had to kill the Kron. Then I had to clear the, the BZ out. Like, my goodness, man. My goodness. Cooked more than all <laughs> Sweaty game. I know. I'm happy with it though, man. Like the one two one really, really is good for those late game scenarios because the alpha, man, the alpha just makes such a difference. It really does. It allows you to do a lot of different things. WGB. Way to best of your server. WG. Ah. Hey, you're so <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Fortunately, the enemy players were not a little bit better. They're a little better there. Like the E5 did some silly things and I managed to capitalize on it. You know, if the E5 had just traversed this hall run and pushed me instead of backing up, he would never have caught fire. And that game could have ended differently, you know. So there's just a lot of little things that turned out my favorite there, but I'm pretty happy with the game. Um, it gets us all excited. See, the games like that are precisely why I still play this game, because it's you know, scenarios like that are just a lot of fun. And that feeling of just caring all the way. Oh, yeah, button. Sorry, I got to give your moderator status back. Uh, I'll do it after this game. Um, yeah, games like that are basically what what makes this game fun, right? Those really hardcore carries, you know, it feels like you, you don't really have a chance of winning, but you managed to pull through. I just love scenarios like that. And so, all right, let's see what Mr. Leo one is doing over here. Nice little dip shot into his turret there. We also have a Bashathion light tank pushing in pretty aggressively here. Let's put a quick shot into the patent's hatch as well. And that's a K91 sniping on the side. Mr. Leo1 making some questionable plays here. Let's put a tungsten shell into him. I think now would probably be a good time to start activating those tungsten rounds as the enemy team seems to be kind of just all over the place at the moment. Uh, Mr. Patton here might get a shot into me. Pat shot into him. Nice little max roll. Okay. Leo is also making very questionable plays here still, but he's like, nah, I got this, man. I got this. I'd win. <laughs> All right. K91 pushing in now. Yep. Yeah, okay. So here's what we're going to have to do here. We're going to have to do a push over on this end here, I think. All right. Leo's still not paying attention, so let's take advantage of that. Good stuff. And then what I'm probably going to do now is push over to clear this Leo one out. So we'll take a shot from him, but it's not the end of the world. There we go. Quick clear, Mr. Leo here. Patton and K91 are both, uh, sorry, the Patton and the Bash Shot the On are both one shots here, but I'm probably just going to pull out from this location. It's a little bit safer. As you can see, my teammates are very much winning towns, so I'm just going to pull the safety here. Alrighty. So we are now in a secure position to help my team out against the E100. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to rotate all the way back around here. Managed to get out of there safely. Just wanted to prioritize that Leo because you know, high DPM, high mobility is a nasty combination. And uh, I think the 100 is AFK. Oh, yeah. My team definitely got this, guys. They, they definitely done got this. You know what? We're going to YOLO. Maybe I could have YOLO for some damage here. We're going to catch the Patton off guard, I think. Hello, Patton. Let me put a quick shout into you. IK91. Oh, the K91. What is this silly man's doing here? 525. Love the max rolls. I guess I shouldn't have activated my tungsten. Another thing to consider is when you are activating tungsten, be careful not to activate it when maybe sometimes when you have a max roll perk loaded up because that actually can um, be just a waste of a tungsten shot there. All right, quick clear. This man's here. And we have the K91 who uh, miraculously ricochets off my side. Maybe I can get one more tungsten shell in. Ah, it just barely expired. That's so unfortunate. But this dude's on a long reload, and he's about to be dead anyway, so let's pick up a clear. Nice, 4k damage there. Not too shabby. Pretty clean clear. 
<laughs> People like you, I can't have nice things. What are you talking about? Add as moderator. Managing moderator standard. Okay, we're not letting you change chat modes. Okay, there we go. Welcome back, Bun. All right. Minotaro cooked up in town. I cooked up in dunes. Problem solved. GG, easy. <laughs> Um, I love the neon wild camo for the ones who want me too. I don't have it on this account though I have it on my own, but like you know me I'm not playing pubs on my own account. So that SBMM is removed speaking of which what's your guys opinion on skill based matchmaking getting removed? I think it's good um, But I was curious about your input as well uh, There's a poll in chat if you're curious you can always vote on that. Uh, well I 16 people for a second reload Kano 1 is so good when played well Yeah, Kano 1 still one of the peak heavy tanks of tier 9. That's for sure. Um, blind shot, and that's a 907. Okay, I do have a VK72 for support. I was not gonna go this way, but as the VK72 is coming along like the lad that he is, I guess I'll play over here. As long as they can provide me some direct cover fire. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious here on this end of the map. Let's just pull into this bush. No one spotted yet. Someone spotted on D. Let's put a quick shot into the bash off the on there. Good stuff. And we know where the 907 is at, because dude is literally capping right now. Alright. Oh, there he is. Oh, Mr. 907 getting a little bit aggressive here, but oh boy, that's a WZ tank destroyer pushing in for me as well. But the 907, I think, is about to dumb mess up here. Couldn't quite hatch snipe him. I do at least have a VK-72 for support. And I think this Bash Shot Theon's about to overextend above us. So let's put a quick shot to the bat shot. He gets cleared by the 183. Dude got a little a little excited here. Some dicey gameplay by the Bash Shot Theon. And there is the 907. Ah, oh, five degrees of gun depression. You love to, you, you hate to see it, really. All right, quick shot to the 907's tracks to keep him in place. Our VK is sending it. What an absolute mad lad. You know what? I respect you, VK. You're basically going to die for this. But you know what? I respect your commitment to the YOLO. Very respectable indeed. Can we HE the back of a WZ? No, we cannot. But we can definitely APM. Let's keep him bent here, hopefully. Yeah, the reason I pulled up a little bit, by the way, and I'm not, like, completely rear hugging him is because I didn't want to. I don't want to put myself in a crop. 4-0? It's only been a minute and 30 seconds. What do you mean it's 4-0? Never mind. That's just how games are. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. How is how is the game already Jover for the enemy team here? Oh, my. Tasty. Mm. Mousy, mousy, mousy. Even without Tungsten doing 480 damage to this very unfortunate mouse over here. Um, we also have a unfortunate 183 back up in front of us. Put all the shots of him. Good stuff. Uh, maybe I can save my adrenaline for now. Or maybe I should have used my adrenaline. <laughs> I had to activate it. I wasn't going to sit there and get 183 for free. Well, this is just a free farm fest. That VK-72 was such a mad lad, dude. He actually just came up and said, Here, let me YOLO for you. I got you, fam. Ah, yes. The good old-fashioned 121 tungsten DPM at work. This poor mouse doesn't stand a chance. It does really roll like 480 every single time you're playing this tank with tungsten. Alrighty. 500 even. What a lucky high roll by me. And mouse gets taken out. So I guess it's Jover for the enemy team now. Ooh, 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 no, 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 One more shot. Oh, you big fat E100. No. Blocked my shot. It's okay. We got 5k there. That was a very close game, guys. It was a very, very close game. No, it's a steam rolls not happen anymore any less. No, they do not. Wow, our WZ cooked. You know what? VK72, you wild lad. I'm gonna give you it up. I'm gonna give you a fist bump for that. That buddy just came in and cleared med side like an absolute unit. <laughs> More skill-based matchmaker for you, Fat. Uh, next question. It's okay. It's gonna be gone next update anyway, so I don't feel guilty playing this account anymore. <clears throat> Ufin Jaku maintains server saint winery on its second stream, playing on the Europe server. Interesting. I mean, you could, def you could definitely still get 70% sessions here and there, but it's very rat to try and do it, and it's ultra sweaty. Uh, on move for 1 to 1 is terrible, but the aim time is the best. Yeah, I mean, the aim time definitely compensates for the negatives that this tank has. And I should be careful. I'm a bit overextended right now. A bit's an understatement. I am very much overextended right now. But I think I would have spotted those Leos if they were here. So... Let's see what Mr. 54 is doing in the old bend. Let's put a quick shot into the Leo here. 
uh, 54 I mean, not by a leopard. And let's just be careful for those leopard ones. The 54 is now stuck in a, a little bit of a tight pickle here. I'm not gonna use my tungsten because as you can see, he's about to get deleted. And there we go. So 54 did a big oopsie over here. Mm -hmm. Someone's on C cap already. Is he gonna pull forward or back? Just a real question. I'm a bit concerned sometimes when pushing up this mid lane, they still have two like unspotted leopard ones that definitely is scary as well as three unspotted TDs. And we don't where the 57 heavy is. Okay, one of the Leos is up top. I guess we're gonna do the risky peek guys. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Let's see where those TDs at. Aha, we found ourselves a grill. Let's try HE Tungsten. Okay, 480. So we do about the same as AP there, to be honest. And we should have enough reload here for one more shot. Ah, I let it into a building. I suck. And, um, hi. Well, I was definitely not expecting that. Okay, wow, RNG. I see how it is. RNG's like, you shall not hit that. Okay. Yagtigers are a little menacing creatures, we'll admit, but he's by himself in spawn. I think he loaded in late. And we're definitely winning this game here, so. Alrighty, quick shot to you, good sir. Nice little ricochet there. I believe the one-to-one -one can, to some extent, side scrape. So that's the nice thing. Uh, if you do get caught out, you can side scrape if necessary. And I'll let the T22 just clean this dude up. And get ready to rotate back a little bit here. You got him, T22? I take it you got him? Never mind, I'm gonna take the kill. Ooh, Gorilla 15 shooting me from up top here. Very cool, dude. Very, very, very cool. Quick shot into him. Nice. We do manage to take, take track shot. And uh, it, I think it's Jover, boys. I think it's Jover. We are not doing much more damage than this. And can we HA? You know we can. Mm. Mm. That was uh, that was a massive skill issue if I've ever seen it. There we go. One more HE out. <laughs> skill issue. Uh, high roll can be anticipated due to the crew training. Yes, there is a crew skill perk if you're not aware. One of the light tank crew skills. It's pretty much a must train in my opinion if you can. Um, it is... Gosh, where's my crew? It is this one here. You can see it can get you up to a 35% chance of max rolling your next shell. After you hit three consecutive shells and pen with damage. Not track damage, by the way. It has to be hit point damage. Three consecutive hit point damage shots, and you'll have up to a 35% chance of max rolling your fourth shot. Very good crew skill. Definitely recommend. No, just, no skill. Uh, train precision fire to level 7 ASAP. Yeah, it's really good skill. Fantasy, don't you think enhanced armor on the one to one is worth it? Potentially. I usually don't run enhanced armor on tanks by default, and I only just equip this tank before streaming, really. Um, but... It might. It actually might make a bit of a difference for the haul. That's true. I usually, you know, I usually like HP because I always know HP works. Or his enhanced armor, it's kind of like a bit closer. All right, put a quick shot to Mr. Prog here. The Prog does manage to take the hill, but will he poke me? Will the Prog be a silly Andy and start poking me? That's the real question. Um, the next real question is I don't have gun depression to work this position here. Okay. Oh, that's like that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be 500 damage into me there. Alrighty. Put a quick shot to the one two one. I know, or Progetto. I know that I'm losing a few hit points here, but my team really does need to. Okay, what's the C100 doing? My team does need to take care of this prog. Like they're 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 ignoring him, and that's bad for our teammates now. Hmm. Not not a whole lot for me to do here with this prog on hill. Can our teammates start doing anything about this prog? Oh, of course. Okay, nice, nice, nice. W. Once the prog's clear, this game's over. Basically, at least on the hill it is. That was a silly play by me. I didn't think the Minotaur actually had shots from there. Mm, I don't usually play this rock. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like this position very much. Uh, too many crossfires. But we'll see. I did my best to help cover hill. I'm kind of surprised the prog didn't get nuked on his way up. That's not the fastest tier 10 med. Dude actually managed to get up the hill. Like a little menace. Alright, I don't know if I'm spotted. I guess we just wait. Yay, I love mines. Oh, W! Prog taken out. Big time W. And, uh, there we go. A sneaky heat shot to the 100 turret there. Nice. Oh, the 100 just got hashed too. Extra W. Extra, extra W. Don't quite have shots on him from back here, but maybe we will in a moment if he keeps pulling up like that. I believe. I don't believe. <laughs> I don't, I do not believe anymore. 183 is getting fried. All right, P2R 183 here. How's my IS7 pal doing? You're doing all right, all things considered. 
All right, Minerato is still holding here. Very good. Minerato's looked away for one second. Ah, I thought I could be sneaky. Thought I could be sneaky, but I can't. This is the ultimate mines gameplay simulator. Hey, 57, if you want to start uh, pressuring the minnow from mid, you could probably get away with it. JK, there's an unspotted 183. Probably can. Yeah, I can't risk it. What I really want to do maybe is rotate out from here, but I don't want to take any shots from the min min minerato. So I'm going to have to be very fast about it. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, my allies will need help against this IS-7 here. So I'm going to start pressuring the IS-7 a bit. Because right now, this I-7 is being a little menace to my teammates. Which is not very cool. Alright, quick heat shell to him there. Good stuff. We can maybe set up a bit of a side scrape here. Without overdoing it. Another heat shell. Nice. We know where the 183 is at, at least. And the I-7 is kind of just chilling here. I don't think the I-7 can really move all that much. So okay, well, that was just a bad shot. Okay, yeah, like, I cannot pen him from that angle. The VK-90 is getting ratted on. That's good news. We know where the T-22 is at as well. It looks like our bat chat's going to create quite the diversion in just a moment. So I'm going to be here to try and capitalize on that. Alright. Side of the IS-7's turret. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. It looks like the VK died going hillside. So that's a W as well. Let's pop the tungsten out to guarantee the kill on the IS-7 faster here. Unfortunately, we do not pin that shell. But it's not Jover yet. Oh my gosh. Bat chat, I need you to pressure this I-7 here. I'm dead. I saw the Minotaur pull up on my side. Wait, team, you're telling me... Oh my goodness. They still haven't cleared Hill. Wait, they let the Minotaur flank around. But they still haven't cleared out the 100. Hmm. I don't know. We might lose this one. We're definitely losing this one. <laughs> our version 4 is just doing nothing right now. And our bat chat's overextended. They're all one shots, basically. Version 4, watch... Oh my gosh, what am I watching? Our bat shot, like... Oh, it's not penning any shots against the i7. I got a bit unfortunate with a couple of my shots on this side, but it's bruh. <laughs> wait, wait, why, why did everyone give up the hill, though? We were we were fine on the flank. All we had to do was clear out the, um, the i7 and make sure we had resets on cap, and then we would have been fine. Ay ay ay. Well, that's definitely a map where this tank is not optimal. Mines, because you need gun depression and a lot of turret armor. This tank only meets one of those criteria in order to be all that effective. And their team was kind of cooking in terms of tanks with the VK90, a Minotauro. This E100 farm four and a half, apparently. Um, oh dear. Joe. Joe doing a one shot in his I7. Okay, that's that's that would explain why. Uh, we, did, we did the best I could there. 2.8k. It is what it is. I didn't think my team was just all going to ditch the main hill, which is why I decided to go back and start dealing with the IS-7. And so they actually, by not going hill, they literally let them in a taro flank for free, basically. Because if they had kept like, if they kept kind of pressuring the hill just a little bit there, uh, the Minotaur would have not, not very likely the Minotaur would have left. And once he got spotted on my right side, I kind of knew it was just Jover, so I just went for a last shot on the IS-7. But look at that version 4. Uh, the version 4, big brain. <laughs> it hurts my soul to see a V4 sniping. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, according to tank class, TD snipe. <laughs> no. Okay. I've noticed this trend a whole lot recently. What is it with players taking their silly tanks to town? It doesn't make any sense. The batch could be a problem here, but I just want to spot the crossing for now. I'm not going to overcommit because my allies are just like... Um, taking their sweet old time coming in for support. Oh, sure. Not even a hit marker on my lower plate, by the way. He must have hit some very rap positioning. I don't even know how he spotted me. His turret was basically around the corner initially, but... Oh, the boss shot the yawn is, uh, is not in corner. That's a W for me. Let's put a quick shot on to him. Where did the girl even bend me, man? There isn't even a hit marker on my lower plate, and I... I kind of doubt he had a side shot there at that angle. That was weird. Anyhow, enemy team really delayed on the push up top over here. So, W. But the only thing we'll have to watch out for is the TI-5. He's kind of unspotted at the moment. Uh, the E-100 is making a bit more of an aggressive play here. Let's track them. And, oh, of course, they're all shooting for me. I see. And here's the problem with running single repair. Is when rat situations like this happen. Let's help our Fosh out. But it's probably too late to help this man's out over here. 
And there's an E75 actually flanking us right now. So that's also an issue. I'm going to see if I can pull up to a safer position here. Back into this corner, maybe. Okay, there's the E75. And they are bleeding out. That's the good news. Okay, we should be we should be golden now. Um, as long as this bat chat doesn't start clipping us for free, and as long as this, you know, as long as this silly E100 here doesn't just keep pushing against me when he's full hit points with the chieftain. Wow, heavy tanks, y'all just gonna keep sitting here, huh? <laughs> Very nice. E100 was just pushing against me. I didn't even have time to properly aim in for the bat chat there. Also, absolute scammed kill shot on the bat chat. Dude was sitting in the open and just got saved by RNG there. Team, what you doing, guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I watching? This is painful, man. Indeed, it does have Amarak issues. Maybe I should have been a little less aggressive there. Is anyone going to reset cap? Hey, holy smokes, man. There we go. There we go. I mean, my team's going to win this very easily. Enemy team played like super rat there. E100 basically got full health to try and tunnel me, which was a very silly idea on his part, but he could have pulled back, but now he's got to just drive in front of my whole team to shoot me there. Like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess that's GG. We'll wait for them to finish. We'll jump back into another one. What's that skin? You have on full black looks dope? Uh, I don't know. It's one of the normal camos you can get, I think, from containers and stuff like that. It's not like a super rare camo. It's the one that actually has a greenish hue, but on the PBR tanks for some reason, the green doesn't come through. So it's just black with like red, and I actually really like that. Oh boy. <laughs> this game's gonna take forever, isn't it? This bat chat's gonna be a little piggy that runs around trying to delay the inevitable as much as possible. <laughs> If I was this bad chat, I'd just be going to try and deal as much damage as possible before it's over. But this dude's probably going to take 10 trillion years. Very nice. Man, that kill shot. Okay, oh, the bad chat went back to corner. That's kind of a W, actually. Now, now he's now he's trapped. Ah, he's dead. Good job, Chieftain. Thanks for avenging me. My gosh, what a lucky bad chat. <clears throat> what is Lewis cooking up in chat? Oh, I know skip, but it's super un undare. Undare? All of this policy. Many little content creators don't have a press account. The resale and purchase system let them to have several tanks for showing in YouTube. Um, uh, okay. It, becoming a CC is not too hard nowadays. I like, how little are we talking? Like, sub 100 subscribers? Then, yeah, maybe not. Because, <laughs> like, once you reach, like, a, th a thousand, a few thousand subs, I think, and as long as your content's, like, within Wargaming's limits, it's very, it's not too difficult to become a CC nowadays on the CC server. You just have to ask. Hey, what's up, Matt? Uh, hey, last year they made one, uh, one, one B. They have to make more this year. Skill-based matchmaking. <laughs> Casual plain colors on some tanks look amazing. I don't care if it's rare or not. Yeah, this one actually does look really good on the one to one I will admit. I love the little hints of red detailing on the mostly black exterior. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have support on this side? Kinda, but not really anyone going wide, so that could be problematic. Okay, there is a Minerato already spotted, but he's, he's about to get lit up by me. And just by me. Never mind. No one else is going to light him up. Let's see if I can spot anyone else crossing this way. So far, I haven't really spotted anyone else crossing. But there is also an M60 here being really aggressive on me. And a Leo. Because my allies are all just going to chill in Narnia. Thanks, guys. Really, really appreciate the absolute lack of support here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now I'm getting shot from behind as well. Dude, this team. No one even went right. Now I'm just going to probably get yoled by a Minerazzo here because, you know, just how the game bees. Oh my gosh, team. Just pressure the right side, please. <laughs> what am I watching? Oh, this Leo's going to... Oh, the Minerazzo's tunneling for me now. Okay, okay, okay. I got to take advantage of this opportunity to push up a little bit. Don't need to overextend here. The 4005 should be able to clip. Yes, kill the piggies. Very good, very good. Piggies annihilated. Thank you, team. It took you long enough. Like, holy smokes. There's a Minotaur, a Kampfpanzer, a Gorilla, a 4005, and not one of them pushed up to help me there. 
That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Like, actually just sitting back and doing nothing. Not even shooting the cross thing, which I had spotted up as well. But, we're good now. Will I get good damage? We will see. The one problem with the 1-2-1 one -one is it's huge profile. Like, sometimes that can actually be a bit of a disadvantage because your tank is so large, it just kind of protrudes at awkward angles. All right, there's a super bonker. Let's put a high explosive shell into him there. Very nice. Let's wait for Mr. Mouse to maybe shoot here. Where's the Yag at? Yag. Oh, he's all the way back there. You know, low-key might be better, more worth my time to go back for y Yigaru here rather than trying to sit in front of a mouse. So I think I'll make that rotation out right now. Although it looks like the 263 may or may not be pushing through here. So let's see. Is he going for me? Okay, he's not going for me at least. That's the good news. Okay, the Ag's already toast anyways. Well, it's a win. It's another win. Kind of a bit of a rat win, but I'll take it. Would have been a lot nicer if my allies had been a little bit more helpful uh, initially, but I managed to stay alive, barely. <laughs> so that's what matters. All right, 263. The time has come to get cooked. The time has come to become cooked. And you're getting cooked by a grill now. Oh, we hit those! <laughs> That's such a small shot to hit right there in that spot. Okay, 2.7k damage. We did not cook that game, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, if anything, the 4005 deserves the upvote because this man's like sent it on the Minotauro and basically kept me alive. So thank you, 4005. Um, Kampfpanzer doing 100 damage. Yeah, he was sitting behind me, not even shooting really. But, uh, at least they pushed eventually. Shout out to the 4005, though. At least the 4005 was my savior that game. <laughs> doc skin looks good, then. Ah, the doc skin. Uh, it's 5 a.m. here, and I was looking for something to watch while having my morning coffee. Perfect timing to wake up to a fantasy stream. Ah, Bitter Blossom. Thank you very much. Good morning to you. I suppose happy Sunday. I would assume. I think it's a Sunday for you, probably. Venice got cooked to that game. I got cooked, but we still survived and managed to somewhat cook and return it was not the most cookery game though yeah I, I was not cooking that game i need, maybe i need to be playing even more passively because it seems like the, the teams are like very a little bit passive slash yolo-esque at the same time and it's kind of hard to see which team you're gonna have the yolo-esque kind or the passive kind so maybe i'll be a little bit i'll take it a little bit more easy right now okay that dude definitely spotted me so let's pull back or not oh he made it to caves real quick too Wait, these dudes all made it to caves unspotted? Oh, that's crazy. I didn't think that was uh, that was going to be a thing. Okay. Oh, boy. M60 now going to be taking the caves here. Leo going to be taking the caves here. Are you 100 and Ken or E75 and Ken one are kind of both in Narnia at the moment. Let's see, is there anyone around this corner here? Can't really tell. I do not like this position. I rarely ever play it, by the way. But at the, at, given their tank's lineup, I felt maybe going towards caves was the smarter play. And I think in the long term, that probably will be the smarter decision here. But, uh, whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy. Chill, dog. Chill. Chill, buddy. Oh my gosh, now I'm getting, now I'm getting shot up the butte cheeks. Okay. So what I'm gonna have to do is probably just take the L and get penned by this dude here. Let's pop the tungsten shells now. And let's get ready to pressure him in the Conway side, because we know where the whole team is at now. Their whole team is in cave side. Okay. Wow, that's just crazy, dude. That's crazy. That is crazy. This man's still yellowing for me, too. E75. Hello. Can you use some assistance? Where are my TDs at? Oh, they're dead. That's where they're at. They're dead. All right, E75. Pressure this man's from behind. That a boy. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good to cook. Our 57's also going to be pretty secure in caves, so we don't have to worry about losing the cave side anymore. Alrighty. Now, now, now. What do we got here? Wild M60. Good stuff. Very good, very good. That's why I'm not really a huge fan of playing that middle position, by the way. It's because of that kind of like wacky YOLO sometimes. It can be very annoying to deal with. Uh, Mr. 100. Thank you for the max roll there. Now we can cook up. Now we can definitely cook up here. It is time to cook. It's like it's time to become cooked. Track shot. Please and thank you, good sir. JK, JK. But I will track you again, maybe. Oh no, I messed up my track shots again. I got, I got support from this light tank here. 
Have, have, have the mans out here, yeah? Well, why don't you? Oh, track shot. And we are dead. Farewell, ladies and gentlemen. But it's okay. I cooked up 4k before I died, which was kind of my goal. I didn't realize Leo was going to debate around the other side. So I thought we could double tap the 100 there. But it worked out. It worked out. Alrighty. Aye, aye, aye. Cave pushes are crazy. <laughs> oh, cave pushes are crazy. You just have to know when to kind of rotate out of caves, I guess. But uh, 4.2k, I'll take it. You know, I got the good damage there. And even if I died, it was only missing out like an extra 100 damage in the end. So I'll take the, the damages. Fantasy in, in meds is the most entertaining gameplay to watch easily. Oh, thank you. I do appreciate that, Rebel. I thought you meant Fantasy on meds. I don't know why. I promise you I'm not, though. <laughs> what do you think about 907 and M60? Both are really good. Uh, 907 is probably the one I'd recommend over the M60. Not because the M60 is bad, but because the M60 can be basically played, um, you can basically play a 140 and a Leo PTA. Okay, we're both relatively even ma evenly matched. Uh, the M60 can basically be, um, uh, copied by a pattern, essentially, in playstyle. The 907 is a bit more unique, so I really do like the 907 a lot. And, um, that is a first. I don't think I've really ever seen anyone try that particular climb before. Very talented indeed. Uh, let's pop the tungsten here and see if we can track Leo. 501. Now that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think we can even pressure this side a bit? Maybe. We'll have to watch out for the Hori and the Waffenträger. Maybe I shouldn't have activated my tungsten shells too early there. That might have been a bit of a boo-boo on my part there. But we can get another tungsten shell out at least. Yep, one more tungsten and I'm happy. Hello, Mr. Leo. Mr. Leo is backing up. Oh, there's Mr. Hori. Track shot. Ah, Hori penning me through the hall or the side of the hall, I would take it. Didn't expect him to be in that particular position, to be honest. Definitely a bit of a, a wacky spot to take your Hori. Take a blind shot for that too, just in case. Who knows, we might hit him. Alrighty. I don't want to overextend here. It's probably a bad idea. So let's pull back a bit. Yep, just like that, dude. Bad idea to overextend, you know? You feel me? Alrighty. ST1 will help me on the K91 here. Bop, quick shell to him. Good stuff. Dude is definitely gonna die pretty quickly. Especially in that positioning. Oh, buddy is a buddy is not ready to cook. Nice. Alright, also found the Waffenträger. Can I have shots on the Z100 here? Kinda, they're tiny. I do not have faith in my gun to hit those, to be honest, but <laughs> may as well take them. 1300 assists, let's go boys. I got all that assist. Ooh, Mr. Hori, you shouldn't have. Why, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you to turn around from me. Oh, he's definitely going to be looking back at me the moment I pop around this corner. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Let's load up the heat. Oh, 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 oh. No! I'm getting baited, man. I'm getting... I'm getting debated. No, give me my damage. I need my damage. Where are you running? Why are you going? Why are you running? Come back here. You silly hole Yes, take 600 HE! Now that's what we're talking about. Okay, I send the 140s on B. E5 still in eighth corner. So I guess we go back for the 140. You know, it wasn't a complete waste of tungsten. I got my 600 HE alpha damage. Refined gun. Naklai, thank you very much for the donation. Um, I have not thought gun. of running refined gun on the on the good old one two one, just because I like to just make sure the aim time is as good as possible. But maybe maybe it'll be worth 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 a try running the refined. I don't know. Oh, thank you, E5. Do appreciate that, dude. Very kind of you to contribute to the HRF damage fund here. I think that's going to be just about it for me. Maybe I can get a clear in the 140 and that'll be it. Not a worst game. Not the worst game ever. <laughs> yeah, guys, never shoot on the move in the 120 if you can help it. It's not a smart idea, okay? It's just not smart. <laughs> Uh, what is your favorite tier 10? I, it's hard. It's always changing, so it's hard for me to have one single favorite tier 10. Uh, you know, the Leo's always up there, along with, like, the 30B, uh, and tanks like that. You know, your, your typical more mobile medium light tanks are kind of my, just kind of my jam, and generally speaking. Uh, but, yeah. Not really any of the heavy tanks, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, the 2 and 5B is good, but it's not 
not the best in this meta, so yeah. it's kind of like, uh, well, it's not bad, but it's just a little painful. Uh, <clears throat> what is your win rate at the Amex M4? I don't know. It's like 75 to 80, but I, I'm not a fan of the Amex M4. I'm going to be honest with you. That, that tank's gun is not very good. The accuracy for its alpha damage is just painful. It was acceptable when the tank had 480 alpha and tungsten that gave it like 500 plus alpha damage. That was acceptable, but I don't know. You need to stop and aim anyway, so only 0.2 seconds lost. True. True. I could try running lost. refined on it for sniping, but I don't really plan on like sitting back and hitting distant shots too often in this tank, which is why I just opted for whichever one gave me the fastest aim time. Um, Because I'm going to be pretty mobile in this vehicle. Wow, that 62 a really took his time climbing the hill. That's adorable. Okay, what do we got here? I don't usually spot in this bush, but you know what? Maybe today I will. There we go. Very nice. Early shot into the Leo. Zalio one is um, being quite aggressive here. Put another shot into him. Nice, nice. Silly little Leo. Silly little Leo one. That is silly, uh, silly Leo. Okay. Let's see. Everyone spotted 183. Once I know what 183 is, I think we'll be... Ch no, never mind. They have an IS-7 here. I'm definitely not pressuring this side, that's for sure. Um, M60 looks like he's going to be pushing down low soonish, maybe. He's thinking about it. He's definitely thinking about it. You can see his positioning. But he is smelling smelling the, the waters, waiting for his opportunity. This IS-7 has somewhat overextended here, I think. There we go. Let's put a track shot into him. My, my goal right now will be to track Mr. IS-7 in place, if at all possible. $100 from Woo! Curious. We cooking 100 the from Curious. We cooking the enemies with this one. Oh, you you are right. We are hardcore cooking. My gosh, Curious. With the $100, thank you very, very much. Do appreciate the support, Curious. As always. My gosh. Shout out to Curious, guys. Shout out to, to Curious. You know, judging by where the patent died, I'm going to make the assumption here that the 183 is overlooking Seaside. Because I haven't been shot at once. I haven't seen him shoot at anyone else once. But our M60 or patent did get absolutely cooked over there. So my theory is that the 183 is back on that end. That's why I'm going to be playing a little bit more aggressively here. I'm not just randomly yellowing out. I was just basing it off of what my teammates were doing. So, or how my teammates were dying. Oh, yep, and there's the 183. So, uh, as anticipated, the 183 is, in fact, overlooking that side of the map. Put a quick shot into him. Good stuff. The VK90 is over here as well. The M60 is pretty low. The 907 is over here. I think the 183 just fired his shot off towards me. What a, what an absolutely insane lad we got there. And hello. Quick shot into you, good sir. And uh, VK90, please pretend you do not see me. I promise you I do not exist. I promise you I do not exist. All right. Quick shot into the VK90 here. You do have a 907 problem to worry about, so what I'm probably going to do here first is pick up a clear in the 907 and just get up close and personal and nice and cozy with this VK90 here, and then we'll just side hug him for the clear, basically. Hello, good sir. How, how is you? I hope you as well. I hope, I hope you are ready to... Oh, bro, I missed my fire button. What was that? I scoped in when I meant to shoot. Oh, I got cooked. No way, the 183 actually rotated out? Are you tell- Oh, it's because our- Oh man, I was- I could have had 6k damage that game. I just got cooked by that 183. I mean, you know what? W rotation by the 183. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, where did it even hash me? I don't see a hit marker Curious in my tank. the type of viewer who drives a lifted F350 on 30 inch rims. <laughs> doesn't see the ropes. What are you talking about, the Cly? What are you- what is bloody smoking? <laughs> Thanks for the donation, though. But, uh... Oh, that is so sad. Dude, that is so sad. I was balding because I missed my fire button. Because my controls are slightly different on this account. And then because I was just balding, I didn't even notice the 183 there. I don't think he was spotted, though, at the time. Uh, but, uh, good shot by the 183. You know, it, it sounded like AP. It didn't even sound like Hesh. I think he just got a massively high roll on the AP there. Which is uh, just a yikers. But we still did about 5k damage in that short period of time. Because the one to one cooks. Even when I didn't cook at the end, the one to one cooks. That was just... That was just silly. I mean, I mean, you know what? Good good rotation. Good rotation by the 183. Buddy, on 200 hit points, man, is getting an extra 1,000 damage out. I respect it. 183 learned from your streams. I, you know, I respect it. Both 183s, you just sit there and snipe. Buddy actually moved in the end to get out the extra shot damage. It wasn't fun for me because that was an easy 6,000 damage game with the 100 and everything. But oh well. 
Oh, you can't avoid a little mess when cooking? Yeah, dude. Cur curious. <laughs> curious is like, we cooking with this one. Nah, Curious. I am the one getting cooked here. Oh, uncooked Debbie Sashimi. From Lady underscore Maria. Uncooked My Debbie gosh, sashimi. Maria with the $100 Zono as well. Thank you very much, Maria. Very much appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, I, I, I can't perform badly now. W, W in chat, I know. W in chat for the, for the mad lads that, are, that, uh, that be supporting us today. What the heck are you doing, M60? Oh, what am I watching? This, this is some crazy M60 gameplay. I, I don't think I've seen anyone make that type of play before right off the bat. Hey, Bobby. Bobby just ran away. She's like, you're being too noisy, human. Thank you very much, everyone, for the donos. We do appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess we clear out the 907. There's potential- Oh, the grill's not even here, so we definitely clear out the 907 while we can. Hello to my little friend, Mr. 907. Boop, quick tungsten shot to you. Oh, AP through the front of the turret? Yo, my man cooked me there. God, it made, made it made me into a, to a whole pile of refried beans. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. Now we now now we can now we can get some damage out here. Lovely. Yeah, that was a good use of my tungsten there. Always time the tungsten when you think you have good shots. Now I only used it there because I was trying to kill the M60 faster, but it actually worked out in my favor because the VK decided to do the the crazy crossing and and uh Yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally just missed that dude point blank. One dollar and ninety-nine cents from Narclan. Ah, External what are you talking pelvic about, God? External pelvic over organ here. measuring contest over here. What the heck? <laughs> not glad he'd be trolling. Thank you very much, not glad, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Another shell there. And we 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 still are uh, enjoying the free farm fest. Maybe maybe I'll consider that refined gun, man. Maybe I'll consider that refined gun. After those last two ricochets, I I think Loki it might be worth. Also, I should be yoloing right now. There's only three dudes left. Silly me taking my sweet old time. <laughs> Curious flexing the emotes out here. Oh my goodness. Hello, Mr. VK72. How how do you do? How do you do, brother? How do we do? Track you in place, good sir. E50, you got that clear. My man. My man. Hey, it's a VK90. We cook. There we go. 3.9k damage. Piece of cake game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you should absolutely run refined gun. I know it takes uh, enough time to aim in. The gun handling with, will be amazing. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to convert. You know, the, yeah, I, I was kind of getting away with it before, but I, I kind of feel that maybe... Uh, the thing is, though, uh, allows for more accurate when shooting while the tank is moving. So maybe it doesn't even make that much of a difference. Like, yeah, that's usually why I do run the second piece of equipment there, but eh, that's okay. Oh, Wrench Jeff with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much, Wrench Jeff. Do very much appreciate that. If you did just receive a membership from Wrench Jeff, please send your thank you in the chat if you are here. Uh, show some appreciation. And uh, as a member, you get a cool badge next to your name and you get access to the exclusive HRF emotes. So ensure that you use them. I need to add more emotes. I think I low-key have enough members to have like 10 more emotes. I need to, I need to actually do that sometime. Um... I'll have to cook up some more emojis for, for y'all. Just uh, to make it entertaining. We gotta get some more meme emojis, I think. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Straight too much cooking? <laughs> Basically, it's it's a whole restaurant in here. Everyone's cooking. The viewers are cooking. The the gameplay is kind of cooking. Kind of being the key word here. Ah, of course. Of course, as I say that, I bounced off a full game. Did STB hat shot. But uh, is this the same M60? Sir? 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 Oh, no, 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 no. You're, you're on the right path. You are on the right path. There you go. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Oh, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> well, basically at this point, we could just push the STB and Leo here. I don't think they have any support. Is there... Yeah. Oh, no. The Leo. The Leo be sniping. Okay, the Yag Tiger is sniping, though. That's something to be concerned about for sure. Hello. I'm gonna try not give this dude any side shots so I don't get uh, I don't get deep fried by uh, ammo rack problems, as just happens to be the case. I literally said I'm not gonna give him side shots, and then go figure. Um, 
Yo, you two light tank med tanks full HP up top. Maybe. This is just a recommendation. Maybe we push up here. Please don't rack me. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna yell out. Get away from me. Be gone. Yes. Drive into a dead tank. Be gone, you silly man. That's right. You, you done messed up. Uh, E50M, you, you can quite literally just push into this, this silly Leo here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, that didn't quite go as planned at first. I think what I'll do here, instead of wasting my time with the Yacht Tigers, push back towards B so I can help crossfire their heavy tanks, which are pushing in on E75. This is actually a pretty close game still because they have three basically full health heavy tanks here. And we don't have any more heavy tanks. Our E75 is about to die. So what I think I'll do is go maybe all the way back to our spawn in order to create a nice little crossfire. But we do want to watch out for the fact there's a Yag Tiger all the way in that corner. I'm just going to ping it so hopefully my allies know it's there. But my priority right now is putting myself in a position to crossfire their heavies. Which a lot of players are just continue to momentum keep pushing. And it's always good to think about your positioning and where the enemy team is and where your team is. And try and capitalize on that if possible. So that's what I'm going to do here. We should have a nice clean shot on this v on this Kampfpanzer here. So let's take the Kampfpanzer shot while we have him. Lovely. Oh, if he pulls down too, that's even better for me. Good stuff. And, uh, nope, my reticle is getting sticky to hardcover. It's not the end of the world, though. Maybe, maybe if we can cook up this Yag Tiger just a little bit here. I probably won't activate Tungsten because all it takes is one shot for him to relocate. You know what? I'm definitely popping Tungsten now, though. Come on, Bat Chat. Good stuff, bad chat. Nice. Now, now we should be pretty good here, I think. All right, Yag Tiger's pushing up a little bit. There we go. Oh, we have cap. We have massive cap lead here. We don't have anything to worry about, actually. The cap lead be cooking. W. W. Easy clears. Ooh, it's a 57 start side. Nice. Max roll two. That puts me at 4,000 damage. The bat chat is also is also becoming a certified chef over here. Nice. One more shot. Should put me at 4.5 or so. I might have enough time for one more shot. Two, one. Let's go. One more shot. Heck yeah. 5k. Easy. <laughs> That's why I rotated back, guys. That's why I rotated back. It's a lot easier to just rotate back, let them push into you, and just crossfire them out. Instead of just trying to chase them around the map to their spawn. That's, that's, uh, that's not, that ain't it. That ain't it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 5k damage dealt. Oh, the pain. The pain. When an STB-1 with its 340 alpha damage damages your ammo rack, man. That is painful, man. That is painful. If it was a 120 or higher caliber, I would expect it, but... It's a 105, man! <laughs> I think it might make it harder for fatness to read messages and see on screen. Hmm? Wait, wait, what is? Never change. Call them the emoji spam a bit. Ah, it's, yeah, it's, the emoji spam is fine. <laughs> I mean, well, within reason. Within reason, okay? Within reason. Special lag one. Thank you very much, Jack. Uh, hey, fans, what do you think of the new matchmaker? I think it's heinous. I think it's terrible. I think it's dog water. I want it to be gone. And uh, fortunately, Wargaming will be removing it next patch. Whether it's permanent or temporarily, I don't know. They they could be removing it in order to rework it and eventually plan on reintroducing it, or they could just like remove it and just be like, we promise not to touch it again. Sorry. I don't. I'm not really sure. Um, but what I am sure of is that my team is very split right now. They have an STB, SDRV, Conqueror, 57 Heavy, um, E50M. Basically, a whole lot of tanks that I really don't want to deal with on this side without adequate support. And yeah. Does it look like I have adequate support? It does not. What it looks like I have is a wild Bashat Yon YOLOing like a madman here. And you know what? I, I kind of respect it, but at the same time, I am not willing to bleed out more HP than I have to here. So I'm going to pull back a bit. As you can see, my allies are basically setting up in Narnia. And I'm going to set up in Narnia with them because it doesn't make sense for me to overextend here and get myself killed. That's just a waste of time. The problem is, is do I sit here and try and crossfire them out from this end or put a blind shot into that dude? Nice. Or do I try and rotate out somewhere? Because I do have a degree of crossfire from here. And I do have a 183 for cover fire if they overextend on us in this location. Which is kind of my objective here is to get them to push all the way into us. Like this E50M here. <clears throat> Very nice. Let's put another shot to him. There we go. I have to re-end my gun a little bit here. Good, good, good. 
So that's why I just sat back and spawned. I know it's I know it's cruddy to just sit back and spawn, but sometimes you kind of have to. It's funny that he's shown to this man's here. The 183 is going to take the shot. I'm just going to save as many hit points as I can here. You got the clear 183? Respectable. Good stuff, dude. All right. Now we should be able to deal with the... Oh, gosh. What happened to the STB? Did he get cooked by the 183 as well? Is this, is this 183 low-key a Michelin star chef? I think he is. I think the 183 is a Michelin star chef. What, what an absolute lad there. All right, that is a crown wagon. You know what? Let's uh, let's 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 clear out the STB first. That was silly of me. I delayed the kill shot there, and we're gonna get safe from the crown wagon's crossfires. And do I want to rotate in or not? Mm. Okay, this was definitely a mistake. This was definitely a mistake. I'm gonna take 700 damage here. Silly me, silly me. Very silly me indeed. Hello. Oh, I, I wasted my repair kit by accident, and now I now he damages my gun's accuracy. That's crazy. I think we win, though. Thinking and knowing is two different things, but I think we're gonna cook. I think we're gonna... I think my teammates are gonna... Oh my gosh, Conqueror. Not cool, dude. Not cool, dude. Well, I take it back. I think I am getting cooked. Here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have overextended there like a silly man. Okay, there's the Conqueror. Nice, nice, nice. Very saucy indeed. Uh, Mr. Kron, this is not it, Chief. This is not it, Chief. What? Did he AP pen me through the turret there? Okay, come on. You have a Yag literally... Okay, well, you know what? Five, I did not cook that game. That was, uh, that was just some misplaying on my part, really. Not the tech's fault. That was just a, a bunch of misplays there. Aye, aye, aye. I was too busy flattering our 183 and got completely just... Oh, okay. Distracted. <laughs> uh, also, I think our 5A is literally losing the 1v1 here. We do win the cap, though. We should win the cap, if nothing else. Because the, the Yag will be able to clear this dude out, no problem. Even if our 183 dies. Oh, our 183 cooks! Our 183 cooks! Bro, what a crazy dude! <laughs> Picked up the clear. $9.99 from Narkly. How do you make a decision on whether to commit to an advantageous map position that can get you killed okay, easily that was if just that, that was a bad game. That was, that, that Especially was a skill issue game. Good job, TDs. You guys important. did well there. That was, uh, yikes. I don't even know what I was thinking that game, to be honest. Uh, how do you make a decision on whether or to commit to an ad advantageous map position that can get you killed easily if your team doesn't move up with you? Especially if you're making that early is important. It kind of depends on what tank you're in. If you're in a tank that has the ability to easily escape, then go for it, right? And and if you're in a tank that's not going to be able to escape from a map position very easily, and you see your team sitting back, then you, you really can't afford to do it. Like, you can go up a bit, maybe, try and spot, or wait back with your team a little bit, uh, and wait for the enemy team to maybe make a misplay, to overextend. Or you just get trapped in the back of the map because your whole team doesn't want to move and you'd lose. And you just have to accept it. I mean, there's sometimes those scenarios are just unavoidable. Uh, hey, fans, what about the Hori stream? It's been two years. I do not like the Hori. I think the Hori in its current state is terrible. And i just not a fan of it. Wargaming, making it from a very fun mobile TD to whatever it is now, kind of ruined the tank for me. And I, I just, I'm just not interested in playing it anymore. I might play it sometime, but right now, it's not very high on my uh, on my list of tier ten uh, tank destroyers. I'd rather play. There, there are quite a few. Really? I swear I'm getting like weird pens, but I don't see any hit markers. I'm oh, of course he he penned my turret because he was definitely uh, <laughs> he was definitely aiming for that. So you're telling me instead of running away because he was outnumbered, our man's here decided to. Stay and die. You know what? I respect it. I respect his commitment to death. All right, Mister. Thank you, Fifty. We do have a 183 back there. We'll have to watch out for this E50. Should have an easy clear. Good stuff. Uh, E4 and 183 are both back here. Yeah, I might risk it for the biscuit. One shot for the 183. The E4 is definitely trying to aim for shots on me anyway, so let's back up it. W. Very big W indeed. Is gonna run maybe? No, he's not running. Okay. Well, we're gonna pressure this side here. I can use building his cover. We have a crosshair at the Leo who's gonna clear the 183 out, hopefully. Or not. I mean, he doesn't have to clear the 183 out. There we go. Quick shot into the E4 here. E4, I think, just fired anyways. He's dead. 
Good, 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 good. 23 stats as well. Nice. And that's just the TI-5 U-135, which we can pretty easily deal with here, I think. With the Badger support. Must emphasize, I need the Badger support here. Question is, which way is this TI-5 going to be pre-aiming? Well, they both just fired. Let's focus on 95 first. He's a bit more of a nuisance to deal with here. We wonder is also healthier, so it doesn't really make sense for me to overextend. Alrighty, very good. Boom. Very nice indeed. Wonder how this thing side scraping works. No need. This dude's gonna give me a free kill anyways. W. Oof. Sorry, my mans. Sorry. Okay. Whoop. One more shot. Nice. And it's Jover. Not a bad game. I'll take it. <laughs> so I got bent through the corner of the turret. I don't know. Did the 1-2-1's turret armor get slightly weaker when it got PBR? Because I swear its turret used to be a lot harder to pen. But I feel like I'm kind of getting kind of uh, a lot of random bands along the turret front. Which was not always an issue. I don't know. Could be just imagining things. There we go. 3.8k. I'll take it. Uh, yeah. So basically we all know it would be a bad idea even before it was introduced. Oh, uh, yeah. The skill-based matchmaker. is If that's what you're talking about. I, I would agree. Hey, Fatness, what about... Uh, okay, I already read that one. Um, how are we going to something else, though? It used to be better, in my opinion, because back then, the Hori's gun was good. Its armor was okay, nothing too reliable, but it was very mobile, and that allowed you to be so flexible. You could just, like, move along with your meds. You could be doing crazy, like, peaks frontlining and stuff like that. And now the Hori's traverse speed is so bad and his mobility is so sluggish that it's like you you overextend a little bit, the meds are just going to circle you and die. There's a reason you used to see a Hori almost every single tier 10 battle, like a year or two ago. And now it's rare to even run into one. It's not because it cooks now. It's because it got cooked. A little bit overcooked, I think. Um, it got charred, as a matter of fact. And now it's just not... It's not it. Uh, it's definitely on my lower list of, of tier 10 TDs that I enjoy playing, to be honest. Maybe, I just, maybe I'll have to try it out a little bit longer sometime. It can still have good games, of course. Like, all tier 10 TDs can basically have good games here and there. 334? Talk about low rolls, man. Um, okay, what? Why do I have, like, zero support over here? I'm, I'm scared now. I'm probably going to get yellowed here. This is probably going to be a Jover game for me. Because no one else is spotted on the ship, dude. No one else is spotted on the ship. So I have two options. Try and escape or... Oh, we found the 183 at least. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't know if he spotted me, so I snapped it when I didn't need to. Yeah, the 183 at least is getting destroyed a little bit here. Just shoot at me, buddy. Just shoot at me. <laughs> well, at least the 183 got wrecked. That's the good news. That was the one I was worried about. So I'm just going to maintain corner control here because I can. Although we're probably getting yellowed by now. Like, the 1-2-1's positioning is really aggressive here. I doubt he'd be doing that without any kind of support. So let's see. Alrighty. Yep, yep, yep. Now we can pop the tungsten for this dude here. Buddy just took a fight that he really shouldn't have. Of course. Wow, wow. Look, look, who, look who's just going to yellow in for me next. Oh, of course. Yep. There's the bat chat. Nice. What on earth are you doing, buddy? This is not how you cook. This is how you get cooked, you silly mans. Oh my gosh. Now I'm getting yelled by an AMX. <laughs> I told you their team would just be yellowing. What am I watching, dude? Like, what on earth am I actually watching right now? This is crazy. Where's the waffle at? Oh, I knew he'd be in that bush. But what a game, dude. What a game. The whole IDB team just basically sent it on this side of the map. Well, thank heavens the Leo was there for cover fire. Anyways, that's kind of how you want to react to that type of push, by the way. Um, when possible. Is to let their team kind of overextend into the middle, if you can. And then you you have to hug in this corner. That corner is the only safe spot for you on the whole map. So it's good to take it if you can. Nice. That this little corner where I was, that's the safe spot. If you lose med side and you, you cannot escape, you have to bunker down there and hope that your allies in town are able to crossfire through the mid and provide you enough support to not die there. Because 
If I tried running away, I probably could have gone away with it because that 183 did not seem very good. You know, after the 183 is down, I probably could have just ran off. But I didn't want to just ditch on the Leo because the Leo is providing good support there. And uh, together, me and him actually managed to cook up a bit. But that bad chat, that bad chat, man. <laughs> What's the bad chat doing? T22 looks very nice and shiny. Didn't know it got PBR. Yep, same with the 62. And the 62 looks a bit like a 140 now. It's kind of crazy. Uh, seven is comfortable. A six is fine. A lot of uh, situations and terrain due to low profile and small um, footprint on tanks like the uh, one, two, three, one B. The twelve thirty one B. I agree. The twelve thirty one B is an absolute beast of a tank. My team must have go town. Hi, puppy. Hi. Oh, he's a good kitty. Hello. You gonna distract me while streaming now? Oh my gosh, she's trying to hop on my lap. This is how the Bobby does it. She's like. Let me down, human. Let me down. And then Bobby's on my lap. Oh, anyways, I've been complete. Oh, and now she's off my lap. She's like, no, human. You shan't. What the? Eh? The last thing I was expecting was there for to be. Okay, really? So we were outnumbered in town. So I thought, you know what? I mean, outnumbered in dunes. So I thought, you know what? I'll go town. But then the bat chat pops up over here, so maybe I could have actually gone dunes, maybe. Anyways, I swear he's being a little, a little sit in the back Andy, so really no reason for me to focus on him too much right now. Maybe a quick shot to the E3 here. I'm gonna go back for our spawn, make sure we're safe from the E3 in order to help our M60, or help clear out Mr. M60 here. I need my teammates' assistance. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? They just have a Minotauro sitting in Narnia, dude. Really? Team! Watch our rear. We're literally getting farmed out here. It's Jover for me if I don't get any support here. Why is our 263 not coming back and helping us? Is the real question. Come on, 183. Heck yeah, 183. Be the man. My man. Oh my gosh, this Minotauro. I'm dead. <laughs> what is my team doing, man? Oh my gosh. They they just had the rotate back. We had an AFK. Let's take the one to one B first spin. Yeah. I I am not a fan of uh that map. I didn't I didn't realize I was backing up into the 183's range. Gosh, I'm playing like detestable today. My goodness. Also, what's with this ammo rack, man? I need the chuck to make sure I'm actually running protective kit. I don't think I need, um... I don't think I need the... <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Like, what what, what on earth? Are 183 cooked? The Minotaur's just sitting in Narnia. Like, he had no shots there the whole time, by the way. Until I pulled out, that dude had zero shots. Like, I just don't expect players to put themselves in such silly positions. And it actually gadgets me out sometimes because like that is just a silly position. He has no support on heavy side to help his teammates out. And so he's just sitting in Narnia basically, but it actually works because it rotated back to help clear out some of their tanks there. All right, here's the grill. Looking at the mini map, it looks like my allies are very capable of sitting in spawn. I respect it. I do respect it. I'm not going to overextend to the grill. 121B, also very nice to your 10. Uh, it has super speed boost. It also has adaptive concealment, I think is what it's referred to as, which is a very nice perk that basically lets you know when you're spotted if another vehicle is like spotting you. Um, that is also spotted. It's really convenient for that reason. So I do like adaptive concealment a lot, but as you can see, my whole team, we have an AFK type, we have an AFK T62A, and everyone else is kind of sitting in spawn. The odds of us winning this, in my opinion, are probably pretty low. See, and see, like, I know, like, I didn't even poke, but now I know I was spotted by that man. So it's just, it's just a W, you know? It's just a W. K91 shooting heat over at my tank here. Can't quite heat him back. It is what it is. We know where their whole team is, basically. They're all in Narnia. Um, I can maintain this crossfire, maybe, if I have to. This dude's just proxying me, which has been unfortunate, but, you know, what am I going to do about it? Uh, the type's gonna start pulling up soon, I think, as well. Gonna have to wait for a Yag. Yag's gotta pull back, too, here, to be honest with you. Alright, there's the Leo. Quick shot to him. I'm not gonna- I'm gonna be honest, I think we're probably gonna lose this game here. Um, oh gosh, this gun depression is trolling me. There's just, like, a little ridge here that's basically blocking all of my shots. Let's see. 
We might actually be okay here, to be honest, all things considered. Oh, there goes my there goes my Yiga Ryu support there. Kind of a, kind of rips. It's kind of a rip. Oh snap! Now we have a version four yellowing in on me. And of course, now I'm getting shot up the rear as well by a 263 because my allies are literally all sitting in spawn. By the way. Yeah, it's, it's Jover for your boy here. It's so Jover for him. I just accept my fate at this point. I also have a Type 71 pushing me and a Leo pushing me as well. Yeah. Farewell, friends. It was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Maybe we still cook here. Maybe we cook for, for one more shot. One more shot. No. Dude, look at this. Look at this. 60 TP, AFK, Badger back of spawn. 62A basically is AFK this whole time. I only just now woke up. T30 sitting in the back of spawn. Like you can't do anything when four of your players are sitting in exactly where they spawned in. Spawned one. We had four players in spawn one. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh my gosh, that was diabolical. Actually, yeah. I don't think gunpowder is necessary. I definitely want to take protective kit on the one to one because it's Amorak. It's becoming a bit of an issue. <laughs> The Pega team is at it again. Yeah, yeah, that's that was just nothing I could do about that scenario, dude. I I I knew it was a loss. Thirty seconds in, I was like, yeah, this this is not gonna end well, because you just see two people sitting AFK in spawn, and then you see two of your TDs just sitting in the back of spawn, and so it was just me, a Yag, and one other tank, actually trying to hold the, hold off the enemy's five six players there, six players. It was three versus six on that side, basically. Um, sure, I could have rotated all the way back to spawn, but I was hoping our Yag would back up intelligently. Um, he did not, unfortunately. If our Yag had backed up properly there, we probably could have held out a lot longer. But what really ended up screwing me over in the long run was actually the 263's positioning. He was just sitting there for free. Once again, just kind of sitting in Narnia that whole time, too. Hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah. Dude looked like he can't even figure out how to aim, and he hits that. I see how it is. Oh, okay. I'm calling it out now, man. There's something, there's something off about the one to one, the one to one's turret nowadays. It used to never get pens like that with AP through the front. I, okay, I get the hatch. Hello? Is the turret armor actually that weak on this tank nowadays? Like what? No way. Okay, yeah, dude. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we are not dead somehow. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents from now. This is not good. I gotta Just get, raising I gotta the average skill here. of the player base. Okay, I'm I'm calling it out now, Loki. Which is the I point think of high that tiers the uh... and low tiers actually enjoyable. PC comp, stricter F can oh, dang, rules, I'm etc. No, no, don't stop it. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, grill. Yeah, take take another shot for me. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I just missed hit my fire button. Now I have a grill sneak up behind me as well. Let's see if we get around the corner. Dude, what is this game? This has to be the wildest game I've played on this map. Like, holy smokes, what is this nonsense? <laughs> um, the 50 set. I was not sitting stationary. I think the one to one, the one to ones aren't turret armor got nerfed when I got PBR. I haven't really played it since it got PBR, but it was never this bad. Getting AP pens like that is crazy. That used to never be an issue with this tank. Like, sure, if they hit you on the hatch or something, but through the very front of the turret with AP. Like, look, these aren't even hitting, like, okay, one of them hit next to the gun, but one of those, like, pretty solid, and I was hauled on there. Like, that's crazy, man. Crazy lucky, as well. That 57 is definitely on the lucky side of things. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Not today. Although, I'm probably dead to Mr. Leo 1 here. Unless I can back up fast enough. Oh, I managed to back up fast enough. Let's go. Leo 1 gonna commit? Let's see we do win we do win but uh this armor profile actually disappointing me a lot <laughs> actually one dollar and 99 cents for not and, uh try, try and enhance our fine, fine gun McLeod, thank you very much for the donations by the way just uh <laughs> just raising the average skill to player base will make your much more consistent which is the point of high tier high tiers ammo and low tiers actually enjoyable pc comp structure i i guess <laughs> my gosh man the 57's gun isn't even that good. Dude was hitting all of the rat shots. I I I tell I'm telling you, man. The uh the one to one's turret, and I've played definitely like a thousand plus games in this tank over the years. It uh it was never 
Well, maybe I haven't played a thousand games, but I, I, I've never seen the turret be so easily penned. In the past, at least. In the past, at least. Maybe not currently, but in the past, it was not penned this easily. Thank heavens they have an AFK. <laughs> maybe I'll actually put enhanced armor on as well. I don't know. That that's kind of, that's kind of a joke, honestly. If if they if they when they gave a PBR, did they nerf its turret at all? That's what I want to know. I still cooked up that game 4.8, but uh, is it flatter than it used to be? Like it used to be overmatchable to heat shells on the cheeks and stuff, but it was very rare for people to pen it with AP through that through the front of the turret. Uh, face is kind of flat, I guess, but it used to be really good. I remember <laughs> it used to be really good. <laughs> now you have like these 57s just let's like pulling up with better turret armor than your one to one uh, and just like I guess bending it everywhere while you can't even bend them back. That's kind of crazy. I, I honestly I have not really played the one to one all that much in the last few years. Maybe a few games here and there when it got PBR. That was about it. All right. There we go. At least it's effective against the TVP in the back of the map. Let's go. But uh, I will say, I was a little bit molded from this risky crossing right now. But I need to help our Patton out. If our Patton doesn't get assistance, he is toast. He will become toasted without proper assistance here. All right, let's pop the tungsten now. All right, Patton, you gonna push this dudes or what? That's what we're talking about. Enhanced armor don't, doesn't do anything to the hull, that's for sure. Really? What is this man's even doing? <laughs> Did he use his reserve shell? I can't tell. Or is he just reloading one at a time? Track? Of course, dude. Oh my gosh, can you guys stop missing your shots, please and thank you? Like, holy smokes. There you go! This should have been the fastest, easiest clear of a lifetime. It took like 20 years to clear them out. We should win this, though. I might actually resort back to Rammer on this tank at this point. Because I haven't found myself, like, using heat all too often on it. Um, and I and I do really like this tank's ultra-high DPM when it does have the Rammer. I usually run Rammer on it. I only swapped a calibrated this once. Just to see how it felt. But I might swatch back to Rammer to see if it feels better. Of course, the pen's going to be a lot worse. It's going to be a lot, lot worse. So... Also kind of an L, but I want to see if I can make it work. Do we know where the Yo's at? No, he's back here. Okay. Get that reload down to 7.3. Yo just clipped, so W. Should have enough time for another shot at least. Even if I get taken down here. He's definitely going to send it for me, right? Tungsten for one more shot. Nice. W. All right. Well, that worked out. <laughs> How can I mess up this bad? I mean, I'm also able to recover again and even keep that degree of gun depression because they're copying the models from PC. So lazy, honestly. Um, I don't know about that, to be honest. Let's try putting Rammer back on. Yeah, 3440 DPM. I kind of I want to try the DPM loadout again. I like to experiment with equipment a lot, but depending on how I feel at the moment while playing the tank. G fast, I was the poor Leo. Oof, GG. Um, I think them giving tanks PBR is low key kind of an excuse to also somewhat rebalance them. Like the 62A losing a degree. You might think, oh, it's, it's just because of the model, but not really, because the 62A was kind of broken with seven degrees of gun depression. So I, I, I understand why they gave it three. And like, when tanks get PBR textures quite often, their armor profiles change. In the one two ones case, I think its hull got slightly better, but its turret, I think, got worse. Uh, and a lost degree over the front. So like, it, it it's, it's cut, PBR is kind of like a rebalancing method, I think, in a sense. It's, it's their way of like casually doing some slight rebalances to the game, to the vehicles. Alrighty, so we find the IS-7, the mouse. I'm sure they have TDs back here as as per usual. Let's see. I think it's spotted though. And there's the E6, okay. 
Let's see if this E6 will let me cook at all. There we go. Oh, this DPM. This is the DPM I'm used to on this tank, my dudes. This is what I'm talking about. All right. And side through it? Not quite. Hmm. There's the E4. We know the mouse is pushing up over here as well. I7 Minotaur. My only kind of concern at the moment would be the unspotted 183. Or the fact that I can't pen the, the lower plate of a uh, <laughs> of an E4. Who will definitely shoot me if I stay here poking for too much longer. We at least know where the 183 is though. Nice. Ah yes, the rammer DPM is kind of built different, man. It is low-key kind of built different. This is what this is the one to what I'm used to. Do you see, like right here, I only got those three shots off because of rammer. I would have missed out on the mouse and the E4 both both times there if I didn't have the uh if I didn't have rammer there, so. Quick heat shell here. Very nice. I'm gonna start pressuring this side a bit. Now that I'm running a DPM loadout, I'm gonna be more of a DPM med here. Oh my gosh, instead of going so much for hold down gameplay decisions, I'm gonna go more for a DPM type of play here. All right, let's pop the tungsten, track shot, W. He does have a repair kit there, unfortunately. Quick clear on this man's. Rotate back a little bit here. Wait for the IS-7's um, tungsten to run out because I don't really feel like taking a tungsten shell from an IS-7 right now. Quick shot to the lower plate. Nice. Now we're cooking. 3.3k damage dealt already. We know exactly where the E4 is at. E4 has just fired his gun. And the Minotaro is who knows where, to be honest. But I think the Minotaro is, is uh, probably about to get flanked if he stays where he's at right now. Oh, he's pushing on me. Interesting. There's Mr. E4. E4 just fired. IS-7's getting farmed out from behind. He's gonna quick shell into him, pop the adrenaline, and now we can go full DPM, DPM crazy mode, which is the plan now. Oh boy, that pen though. <laughs> that pen is not is not very good with uh with with rammer, that's for sure. That was sad. That was very sad. Still. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, HE. Very saucy indeed. We cooking. We cooking now. W cooks. The chefs are in the house. I think I prefer Rammer. At least for my play style. Um, I don't know if it's actually gonna be better. There'll definitely be a lot of snares. I'm like, I wish I had more pen, but Rammer is just nice. Having that 7.3 second reload is really, really, really clean uh, on, a, on a 420 alpha damage tank. This is the load I usually run on it, by the way. That should be about 6,000 damage. If I if I uh, remember correctly, because of the rams. Almost. Almost 6k. Hey, we got an ace, too. I'll take it. Second ace. Very nice. That's the DPM I'm used to on this tank. Alright, yeah, the Jovi's one has 6 over the sides, 5 over the front. The 6 3 just lost a degree, but gained a lot of armor. Yeah, 62 A's change is still good. It's still really good. Like, yeah, it lost... A Six, seven to six degrees of gun oppression, but my goodness, unlike the one two one, the six to two ace turret has just become next level crazy. It's not T twenty two medium levels, although the T twenty two's turret ring got weaker with PBR. I'm almost positive of that. I've penned those things way easier now through the turret ring. Um, but it is definitely the strongest the six to two ace turret armor has ever been. It's a lot more angular on the front. The, the whole turret profile shrink. The hatch still requires like 330 or more heat the pen. This is crazy. Uh, and people do try and aim for the hatch instead of going for the cheeks as often now. So you actually find out, find you get a lot more like random ricochets on the top of the turret because people are, are not going for the cheeks as often. And the cheeks are very strong. Not to mention the 62A's hull. All around 62A is just a fantastic med in my opinion. I'm definitely not penning that, dude. I am definitely not penning that. Why do players sit there, man? Alright, do I have any support? I have an STRV as well, at least. Okay, I need to wait till I'm unspotted. And then I'm gonna spot up some of their TDs. Maybe their Minotaur or something, if possible. That's, that's why I was initially going here. So I know Minotaur is spotted over here. The one is in the back. E50M's been quite aggro. There's a chance their team could just kind of send it on this side. I kind of doubt it. Uh, but it's just me and an STRVK if that is the case. So we'll have to be a little bit careful here not to get pushed on, basically. 
Um, SDRV should be okay for now. I'm just going to keep spotting around the hill a little bit here because I want to really figure out where their players are at if I can. Oh, we found ourselves a wild yag. So let's put a quick shot to the yag here and pull back a little bit. Very nice. Yeah, it does seem that their team is kind of just distracted everywhere. Make what you will of that. Uh, that's, that's a hill, Patness. You, you can't drive through hills. Oh, okay. Nice, Leo. <laughs> nice trade, dude. <laughs> you want to do it again? You sure? Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. The SDRV is going to be a bit of an issue now. Jaeger's just fired. Here's what I'm actually going to do is start pressuring the Jaeger here. I know this may sound silly, but trust trust in the process, my dudes. Our SDRV is going to be a necessary sacrifice here because I'm going to need to rotate around. Wait, is this dude AFK? Loki he is. Focus on their fuller HP targets then. Well, if this dude's AFK, I can focus on the VK at least. Very nice. That works out in my favor. He could wake up, though. Judging by the fact that his gun's perfectly stationary, Buddy might be just lagging. But uh, that's why I was waiting for an opportunity to push down and clear the Yag and clear this side of the map. And this DPM Rammer DPM is just crazy. Although I do want to get out of the crossfire with this Leone 50M if I can help it. Although... There we go. Make this do it one shot. Nice. I'm in a Taro. Can keep the 50M at bay. I'm gonna help push the VK72 now. Heck yeah! This is the this is the type of gameplay I like for the one to one. This very wacky, aggressive gameplay works really well. Because <laughs> the DPM is just insane, right? You know, with this level of DPM, you just cook. You cook. 5.7k damage dealt. There. Good stuff. Good stuff. Here we get one more clear on this dude. We have the 50M pushing in. The only problem is I cannot pen in the 50M to save my life. I'll need to watch out for where Mr. Minotaro is as well. And I'd take it he'd probably be on the hill. At least that's my guess. I do have support, right? Yeah, Minotaro can support me if I get yellowed by them. You gotta watch out for the 50Ms. They're nasty little buggers. Oh, Minotaro's in Narnia. W. All right, where do you think you're going, buddy? You ain't going nowhere. Not without me, good sir. Take some more damage. Oh, I can get 7k out this game very easily if I hurry. You gotta be fast on it, though. Your boy cannot afford to to uh, to delay his time here. <laughs> I wonder. You're about to see the most damage greedy player ever, dude. Ultimate damage greediness here. Come on, Remy. <laughs> this was a farm and a half if I've ever seen one. Oh my gosh, what a farm. What a farm. <laughs> oh, there's bots. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> Rammer is built different. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do I get 8,000 damage and four kills and it's still a 7 1 score? Man, this, this I'm just in a completely separate like matchmaker at this point, I think. What the heck? <laughs> Our poor SDRV. I feel bad I dipped on him, but I had to, right? Because they had the E15 and Minotaro and Leo up there, and that just was not going to be optimal for me. Um, so that's why I went for the clear on the Yag. That's why I was really trying to bait the Yag out there, so I can clear him and just push on heavy side and use DPM to farm. <laughs> like, <laughs> 8,000 damage, dude. When was the last time I did 8,000 damage on stream? I don't remember. It felt too easy. That was just a farm fest. That was straight up just a farm fest. I, would, I mean, yes, I played it well, but it's not like I, I think I think the uh, uh, the fact the Ghost Factory game was a lot a lot more interesting. That one where I was running around on a one shot versus like three tanks. That was that was the game that I really that I really enjoyed. Even though that was only six point seven k, that game was a lot more sweaty. 
Um, but I'll take the farm. That was, uh, that was a, that was a joke of a game. Thanks, Jerds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice game, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, spasiba, spasiba. Oh my goodness. Slap the thunder thighs. <laughs> Slap them thunder thighs. Yes, I did. So, in retrospect, yes, I do think I prefer Rammer on my 1 to 1. I just really like the extra GPM. I know the pen kind of sucks with 290 heat. Actually, it very much sucks. Um, but I've always ran Rammer on my 1 to 1. This was my first time actually running calibrated on it in like literal years. Um, and I think I just prefer having that DPM for scenarios like that where you're just pressuring and keeping that pressure up and just having that reload and everything just helps a whole lot. So. I'm definitely spotted now, right? Indeed, I am. Okay. Let's see. No one coming up from behind me, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Here we also know what the Hori's positioning is. This Hori is making a lot of mistakes here, dude. Spend another shot to the Hori there. Alrighty. I was not expecting to see that. I I was uh, was definitely not expecting to see that. That is um. That is the bravest 183 player I've seen in a while. And I was hoping he would turn just barely. Wow, this 183 is just crazy. Like, yeah, I respect a 183 player that no, that tries not to snipe and spawn. Because that's usually what I do. You know, not snipe and spawn in my 183. But, ah, uh, oh my. Hello. Hello. How are you? Come on, use your repair kit. Good, good, good. One repair kit down. Very saucy indeed. Does he have another repair kit? Rammer. This is where Rammer GPM is going to be really helpful for me. I can just give him Permatract here. W. So that's another TD down. Interesting. Um, oh, hi, E100. I definitely can't pen you or the VK90. That's where the damage is at, though. The VK and E100. So... <gasps> Hello, VK. I'm probably going to overmatch my turret roof, to be honest, at this angle. Unless I manage to bait him. Eh, eh, I get baited. Oh, no. I, uh, I, can't, I can't shoot now, apparently. Oh, hi, Leo. Whoa, Companzer. Chill there, dog. Chill. I don't remember giving you permission to shoot at me, brother. This is a very bizarre game. I gotta be honest with you. Like, extremely bizarre. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. All that I know is that this E100 looks juiced, and I want to destroy him. In fact, I want to... I want to permatrack him here. How's my rear looking? Ah, uh, rear's looking okay for now. I do have DPM here, so that's the good news. Although, I'm definitely going to take one for the E100. As long as I don't damage my ammo, I'll be okay. I will track them in place for starts. Okay, now I am getting pushed from behind, but it's okay. I should have some support against the E100 here now, so I should be okay. And he has a very long reload, so I should be able to pull into safety here. Without a problem. Nice. There we go. Actually, a bit of a closer game than I anticipated, to be honest. And, um, that's not good. Not expecting the Hori to be sitting there of all places. Now I'm a one-shot to the Leo as well. Okay, there's the Leo. We're good, we're good, we're good. I was a little bit concerned about him, but we we, we still cooked up this game. Okay. 30B should have the Kampfpanzer here. If not, I will take care of him before he gets there. Thank you very much. And the Leo should get taken down soon. I think our M4 is AFK, by the way. We actually won this with an AFK M4. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> nice try, Hori. Hi, Hori. Would you like to play a game of I sit here and you sit there? Look at B. Give myself some extra XP while I'm at it. It's time for a reaction speed test. Who will be faster? Me or Mr. Hori? Yoink. Me. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was we. Oh, so M4 was AFK the whole time. I got almost 4k, uh, 4k damage out that game. I'll take it. We actually won that with one of our top tier heavy tanks being AFK the whole game. Like, huh? That's that's kind of crazy. But then again, their 183 may as well have been AFK. Dude sent it across the map. No chill. Just sent it. Died. <laughs> Bro, I fell asleep. Oh, curious. You missed the 8,000 damage game. How could you? It was a lot of fun farm. <laughs> mm. 
Uh, yeah, a lot, but I want to see who would win Quickie Baby or Fatty's in a 1v1. Huh? <laughs> in Blitz, maybe I would win. In PC, I don't know. I don't even play computer games, dude. Like, like keyboard and mouse, KBM, I'm trash. I'm trash on KBM. I actually am trash on KBM, um, which is one of the reasons I still play Blitz on mobile. Of course, I could learn KBM pretty easily, probably, if I converted to playing it. And sometimes I wonder if it's worthwhile to do that because, um, well, simply because I don't play competitively anymore, so I don't have a reason to only play mobile. But I feel like I kind of hit this little niche by playing mobile as well. Like, I'm one of the few major um, content creators on mobile left, I would say. That that's still <laughs> that's still cooking on an iPad, whereas most players nowadays are kind of just moving to PC, which I can understand. Um, there's a lot of nice things about playing on PC versus iPad, but there are also some nice CDs. Like the auto aim on iPad generally is pretty good. I don't know if it makes up for the uh, I don't know if it makes up though for the the amount of control you can get on keyboard and mouse for aiming. Alrighty, well that was a rick. Whoa. Dog. Took you 20 years to get here. Do you think he has support? That's okay. I have a bunch of TDs here waiting to help me out. My only concern is going to be my rear. And yep. Oh, of course. Yeah, he hits that. Nice meme, dude. Nice meme. This VK is just going to stare into Narnia all day. I didn't even know he had a shot. Does the hill not cover my hall enough? I guess not. Oh my gosh, teammates. Hello. Oh, I'm dead. <gasps> I'm not dead. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am not dead yet. Okay. This is the most useless set of TDs I've ever had. What am I? Okay, where's my light tank at? Oh my gosh. Daniel Vega 24. The, the wonder, I thought the dude was spotting behind me in the bush. Dude is just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, this game's over. That was my turn to have the bad team. I shouldn't have even pushed into the cap, but like who expects their E4 and concept to pop in like 10 minutes later, dude? Like they took 10 trillion years going to the corner. Like I said, I just have to play passively off the bat. Like the players are so unpredictable nowadays that I don't even understand why I'm trying to take aggro positioning. And as a matter of fact, I never would have taken that positioning if it wasn't Supremacy. I only went there to try and snag the cap for my team. Because, like, oh, you know, it's a Supremacy match. That was silly. I should have played back a little bit. My Grill 1A3 were just the worst cover fire ever. They didn't shoot the Concept or the E4. Uh, and then the T92, like, dude. What is the, what is the T92 doing at the back of Narnia, man? And the dude was just sitting in Narnia. That's why I was like, okay, if the concept crosses, like, it looks like the TI2 was in a position to spot the crossing there. So I'm like, I don't have to worry about getting YOLO'd from behind because the, you know, the grill on the 1 8 cover and the TI2 will spot, but that just didn't happen. The TI2 decided to sit even further behind our TDs for some unbeknownst reason. So never should have gone there. That was a bit of an oopsie on my part, to be honest. But hey, we could take the 1 to 1 B for a spin, which is also a very good tier 10 med. Arguably at times better than the uh, the tier 10 121. The standard 121, I mean, not the B version. Like I said, arguably. It does have a very nice gun and it has better GPM. And it does have actual accuracy, which does actually help a lot on this tank. I don't usually push in this aggressively here and I don't feel like getting 183, but I do feel like we should start pressuring this pattern if we can both the patent and the 50m here so that's what i'm gonna do hello wow parts and red are difficult to penetrate i, I love these just random little tips that the game gives me for, for for no reason okay quick shot to this man's good stuff hello mr Patton. no mr i7 Track them in place. <laughs> one to one, let's fall back. Sir, we are cooking. Do you see this IS-7? He's, he's getting deep fried. This is what we're here for. We're here to deep fry IS-7s, so, okay, buddy? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna deep fry this IS-7. See? Problem solved. I actually, man, I need to, next time the one to one bees in store, I definitely gotta stream it. This tank is really good. 
I forgot how accurate the 121B's gun is, and it has like 350 alpha. And and really good accuracy, and I think like almost 3,500, if not 3,500 damage per minute. It's kind of cracked, to be honest. So, I low key want to test out the 1 to 1B again sometime on the stream. Oh, well, that's just nice. Who sits there? Who? Like, I, I'm telling you, man, these players make such little sense. It actually gets me. It actually gets me because the, the, the lack of logical gameplay. So, you're telling me the whole time that 1A3 could have been preaming in the bush to try and kill me. Buddy was just sitting in Narnia. Like, actually sitting in Narnia. That's crazy. <laughs> My goodness, man. The Narnia connoisseurs. Hello. Goodbye. Hello, E50M. Do you want to push on me? That's good. That's good. Be my guest, buddy. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> At least I didn't get hashed. At least I didn't get hashed. Yeah, one two would be kind of cooks, man. If I remember correctly, like um, I got like 3,800 average on the one two one B on my own account. I think. Let me check actually real quick. What did I get in the one two one B? 3,802. This was before it had super speed boost and adaptive concealment. By the way before it had both of those um and so you have to imagine the 121b now has the super speed boost for fast rotations and it has the adaptive concealment which basically lets you know when you're spotted it, it's kind of juiced now low key <laughs> the 121b hatch is technically have zero armor do they yikes i mean the 121b hatch is a pretty easy to pen but I find because the tank is super mobile, like even more mobile than the regular 121, that it's not as much of an issue generally. Um, the lack of gun depression is probably the biggest like con you'll face in the 121B. Skill is kind of mid, not gonna lie. Ah, I wouldn't say that. I don't think he's at his peak anymore, but he used to be like, like S tier. He might've just gotten, uh, you know, it's been a while, kind of like me, been a while. <laughs> been a while since int intensive gaming. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Someone capped B already. I kind of respect their team for it. Hmm. Which way that team went out to get run out? Yeah, okay, he's definitely gonna run out this way. There we go, 390 into him there. Good stuff. Let's see. Oh yes, please run out in that direction. Huh? Oh buddy, he is not cooking. Another pen. And he probably is already down 800 hit points. Poor dude. Bless his soul. Okay. 405 pushed up. The comp funds are sitting back. I have two German, giant German, big ol' super heavies with me here. My whole team's kind of just stuck in spawn. Okay, guys, it's just a comp fencer. Go. It's, it's seriously just a comp fencer. You can, you can, you can destroy it with ease, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. What the heck are you doing there, buddy? Nah, this is unreal. That's unreal, man. Where's my rear looking? Rear's looking safe. Get him, males. All right, one more tungsten shell, and I should be able to clear this dude out as long as I don't massively low roll. That's where tungsten's nice. Nice. A very weird game, by the way. Like, look where both teams are, are split up right now. Like, they're 405 and Yag are just yoloing mid, but it's actually working for them. And my team kind of just sitting in spawn, but fortunately, I've been cover firing them a little bit. Ooh. Oh, he has a spawn. That's so uncool, man. That's so uncool. Why, why, why'd you have to equip the spawn liner? You know what would have been cool? Not equipping a spawn liner and getting farmed by me. That would be even more cool, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm safe to push up through here. Or not. Ooh, 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 ooh. Does he have a spall? <laughs> he doesn't have a spall. Good to know. Alright. Well, we got a Waffenträger to clear out over here. M60 is not really in a position to deal with me, so that's the good news. And the Waffle, I'm going to push on the right side so he can't, he can't escape, basically. Hello, good sir. Little... Little angling shenanigans there. Nice. Thank 
you for the 525, good sir. All right, I think we win. Or we should, at least if I don't throw like an absolute bot, which I have been known to do at times, so we will see. Oh ho! Why, you, you're so kind, Mr. Jaeger Wu. You really didn't have to assist me in my damage farm. Ugh! Honestly, I really appreciate it, good sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Just splashed the engine deck with HE. Piece of cake game. <laughs> I like Ken's just unfortunately I don't agree with everything he says and he's way too toxic to for me. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Six and a half K. Paste. Let's go. Cook. We cook. We cook. I legit wonder how much damage the PC guys would have if they only chopped AP with basic permit and not 20 shield. Yeah, who knows? PC's beyond my knowledge. I have watched PC a little bit, but it's not really a game I'm too interested in. I feel like, uh, okay, you guys are just talking about PC, so I'm not going to bother reading chat. <laughs> Fast, which is better? Uh, which is better of the American meds and the Tech Tree Soviet meds? Honestly, they're both really good. Like, you have the 62A, the T22, the 907, and if you have the talent for it, the 140, which are all really good tanks, let's be honest. Um, but then you have the M60 and the Patton for the American tech trees, and... Oh, sorry, hiccup. Uh, both of those tanks cook really hard, too. I don't know. I would say the, pa the American meds are a little bit more consistent and generic, but versatile, whereas the Soviet meds tend to be a little bit more niche, but really good at what they do. That's how I would basically describe them. Um, so basically choosing whichever one you like, it'd be more preference based and playstyle based over which one is outright just better than the other. At least that's how I view it. All right, really shot to the crown wagon. I had to go med side because I really didn't have much support on the, uh, the right side and they have a Leo, a Kampfpanzer, a Chieftain, right? It just wouldn't be all that smart for me to push up there by myself. Right, I'd get massively crossfired out. That's why I immediately went to push heavy side here. And I think that was 100% the right play to make if you were watching how this game is unfolding. Um, they do have quite a few tanks over here. On the med side, I mean, right over here. 263. Surprised that missed, to be honest. I guess I just have massive skill issues. There we go, this one should hit. Now we can pop that adrenaline, maybe, for that for that insane damage here. And even tungsten, because I can get a track shot here. 507 with tungsten is crazy, dude. Actually crazy. Okay, that was just poorly led. Nothing else to be said about that shot other than bad shotting, bad shooting by me. Nice, 470 there. Oh, we have a Ritar. No, 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 Mr. Ritar. No need to run away, good sir. Hello, T30. Hello, Chieftain. Good stuff. All right, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. I don't want to block you, Mr. UK, uh, but I do want to shoot this dude once. Thank you. The Chieftain got baited. Holy smokes. Buddy got absolutely baited. Hmm. He's going to sit back, isn't he? Whoa, Waffenträger. Okay. Well, it's game over. I might take a shot from the 263 or something while crossing, potentially, or the T31 of the two, but it's okay. Oh, they both missed me. Let's go. He doesn't have a spall, but I somehow didn't pen him, but he's dead anyways. And now we have a wild 263 yellowing into me. Which came first, the 263 or the yellow? That's, that's, that's the real question. Not today, buddy. If you fall down properly, you can save some hit points here. We're not going to take that DPM fight. 263 is next level. Definitely not worth my time. Plus, my team's kind of cooking over up top, so we we all right. We all right. Man, that thing's DPM is insane. <laughs> 263 playing the, the sweaty experience. Okay, buddy. You know what sounds cool? Getting dropped on. I'll respect you if you let me jump on you. 
Oh, no, he's not cool. He ain't cool like that. He, he, he's playing for the dub. I respect it, to be honest. Oh, he is cool. You are cool, sir. Never mind. I take that back. I respect it. <laughs> I thought he was, uh, I thought he was going to stay there so I could jump on him. But then he backed up, but then he let the mouse jump on him. No, he should let me jump on him. That would have been more fun. All right, 3.8. That worked out okay. Fortunately, their cron got bombed, and then I just had free crossfires across the map. It was a pretty chill game there. Um... Uh, <clears throat> Ever you're off into your Rita stream? That was a crazy good one. That was a good one. I, I enjoyed the Rita. Are you talking to me, young man? I assume you're talking to me. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many people in chat. I can't keep track. <laughs> Try running refined gun on the one two one, sir. I already have refined gun equipped, or, or, or mom, or or whatever. I, I I do not make assumptions here. That's just my default language. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh. Interesting. E50M could be problematic. I won't be able to really pen it, that's why. This is a game where I definitely would benefit from having calibrated over rammer, but it's whatever. I can't I can't predict what map I'm gonna be playing on when I choose the tank. I just have to gamble with that. I'll get into a good scenario for my vehicle. Um, I really dislike what's happening so far. No one's moving. They have two grills. The Yag. Um, the E50M is getting quite aggro here, though. E50M possibly messing up. I don't want to get spotted just yet. He didn't quite mess up yet. Okay, I don't think their team's back here, to be honest. But our Leo is going to be toast if I don't start helping him out a little bit right now. So, oh, I have shot. Hi, Fatty. Hope you're having a good, having a good day. Thank you, Tyler. Hi, Fatty. I hope you are having a good very day. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for the donation there. Thank you very, very much. And, uh, yes, so far I am having a pretty decent day, if I say so myself. And, oh my gosh, I'm about to get eaten by any 100, aren't I? Dude, this game doesn't make any sense. What am I watching? Nice, here's where Rammer's actually clutch. I can get an extra shot into this Leo here. This is the weirdest game of Rockfield I think I've ever played, dude. It's like everyone's in Narnia. Like, what is this? This is straight up just a Narnia simulator. Okay, I'll a little bit more. Thank you very much. I don't know if you can spot me from back there. I would assume not. Lovely. Oh, very lovely. The C100 has no clue what he's doing. Heck yeah! This is where Rammer's going insane for me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Track shot, maybe? Oh! 525 max roll. Okay, okay. We've cooked. We've cooked. We've cooked the C100 a little bit. But my teammates are getting baited into the open. Their team's kind of stacked, not gonna lie. Boy, JJ, and SRT. That might be why my teammates are getting gamed on over here. Hardcore. Like, holy smokes. Really important clear there, though. And we also have this E50M here. I'm going to track him in place if I can. Nice. E50M is getting gamed on. I have a Leo YOLOing me. But I do have some cover fire, I think, here. If he continues on this path thing, he'll get HE'd up the rear. The problem is definitely going to be this grill 15 here. But the grill just fired his gun. Please don't, please don't focus on me, grill. That's all I ask. Oh, it's just me and the grill. No, grill, grill, hit it, hit it, hit it, grill. Nice, grill. You're insane. Okay, okay. Where do we do now? What do we do now? They still have an E100 and a grill. The grill's like one shot. No, 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 no. We, we, we can't, we can't overextend just yet. I'll let you spot that side. I'm spotting this side though. If, if we can kill the grill, I can maybe upload the E100. It kind of depends. This grill's going to watch that end. I'm going to watch this end, right? You're watching that side? Good, good man. Now we just have to wait and see. That grill played really well there. Nice itchy shots, everything. My teammates, though, holy smokes! I don't know. Where, I don't even know what happened to them. They just vanished. <laughs> Come on, where are you guys at? Which one of you is gonna push up? 
We're both stuck in this corner, which is fine. It's at least somewhat defendable, but... Like, I, if they come from this side, we're kind of screwed. If they come from the mid, we might have an opportunity to do something from back here. It all kind of depends if we can kill that grill or not. I'm glad I saved my tungsten, though. We know the Emo not all that healthy, either. Hmm. <laughs> Two minutes and 30 seconds. Are they going to make a play on us or not? Dang, if we weren't both one shots, if I hadn't taken one shot from that Leo or the grill, if I hadn't taken that corner shot from the grill, or did he hit my roof? I might have had my roof. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I kind of have to make a move here, but I'm just scared to overextend right now. Bro, I, I was tripping when the leaves fell off the tree. Okay. So they're not there. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, he low rolled. Huge. Huge. He low rolled. That's a huge W for me. Okay. The question is, where's the 100 at? We know the 100 went through the encounter cap. That's our biggest sign. That, uh, Or no, maybe it was the grill that went through the encounter cap. Minute and 35 seconds left. I should be able to outspot the 100 if he's nearby. But I think I gotta be a little bit more aggressive here. Um, simply because we're gonna run out of time. <laughs> that covers the grill has no alpha damage now, dude. If that was an old grill, I would've just been toast there. All right, we gotta find the C100 and hope that me and the grill can cook him. He might still be up top there. Oh, oh no. Stay alive, girl, stay alive. Where's he AFK? Did he go AFK? Oh yeah, he went AFK, nice. I needn't have worried then. <laughs> well played, Grill. Well played. I guess the 100 just gave up after getting abused. Or he probably thought his team was going to win, to be honest. They were like four versus two at one point, I think. Because it was just me and the Grill. Uh, another ace. Well played to the Grill. But he didn't do very much. But he did a lot when it mattered. Which was at the end of that battle there. Hit all the shots in the Leo. Picking up the Leo and the Grill and everything. Like, well played to him. <laughs> Can't believe we won that. My goodness. Speaking of the Ritter, it's insane how easily it still is to get an M for the Ritter. All I did was 4.5k damage and 4 kills, and it's already M. Either that, or I was just lucky. I feel like, to be fair though, I feel like not very many people play the Waffenträger uh, Ritter. To be fair. So, it, it might be easier to ace because there's just not really that many people playing it right now. I mean, I've, I've seen maybe one this whole stream. One, maybe two. But, like, that's about it, right? There's not, not very many. It's And when it was first released, it was very popular. So you definitely saw a lot of players in it. But right now, it's just kind of... Uh, I think it's ran its course. People have, like, only had a couple opportunities to get the tank. And now they're just not really playing it as much. Because there's different tier 9s that are more entertaining, maybe. And the Rito is definitely a bit of a... Uh, not the easiest one to play. Although it has a really good gun. I do like its gun a lot. Um... What is happening this game? Oh, great. I'm going to get nuked by Sheridan now. Or or not. Blessed be thy Sheridan. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sheridan, for the free damages there, good sir. No, 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 no. Why don't you poke me again? I dare you to. I dare you to. HE! You're not fun, dude. Wow, 300 splash for a 670 HE alpha? That's like a 50% HE damage ratio oh my sir this is this is not a good idea <laughs> what is that <gasps> quick what am i watching oh my goodness and you're telling me the other the, the 183 the mouse and all those players just straight up sent it like i respect the courage these players had all right let me get down from here quickly before the yag decides he wants to do that. So that's where the Yag is. Honestly, I thought he'd be back there, but if he's back there, that's fine by me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we believe? He's got to turn his gun in, right? Nope, he does not. I do not believe. Maybe I should just go for the, the T-100 after all. No, my bad chat's not here for support, and I'm a two-shot one. If I do get myself spooted... He's not good. Oh, hi, Yiguru. Uh, uh, 
let's just pretend we didn't see that, shall we? Oh, no. He noticed me. Better late than never, I guess. Ah, you, you, you do not see anything. You do not see anything. Oh, yes, that's right. You see absolutely nothing for me. I am not shootable. You cannot shoot me. I promise you I do not exist. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow, what a silly game. Oh my gosh, we got a wild Jagdpanzer yellowing in now. For bat chats being a menace, as uh, all good bat chat players are. Rammer letting me get that extra track shot in there, so now he gets taken out. Our our poor bat chat though, he is he's toast. I think he's toasted. Goodbye, bat chat. I appreciate your yolo, sir, but uh, I got things to take care of over here now. And a mouse ain't it. But the mouse is still. I was like, the mouse is still alive. How? Oh my gosh. What a weird game. 3.7k dealt though. I'll take it very happily. Oh no, mouse, you're yoinking my damage. That's really uncool of you, you know? I want my 4k, but looks like I'll only be able to get to 3.9 to be honest. I'll take it. Wish we're getting made it. Press accounts were not in new matchmaking because it would make it more accurate on playing for vids. To be fair, Droodles, they don't have some 5k matchmaker. They don't. I checked. That the press account still have some 5k. I've ran into many players with over 100,000 games pretty consistently. The only thing that's different about this press account, I think, is it doesn't seem to really be encountering the this SBMM too much. I think that is where it's not technically counted, but that's fine because SBMM isn't even going to be applied pretty soon. So I'm just kind of playing random games like how they used to be. So yeah, but they do not have uh, some 5k matchmaking. I, I checked and even just from my experience playing games, I was consistently running into more experienced players. Like, you know, the the Rockfield game, they had members from SRT that had like 80,000 games and JJ and, uh, is it movement? I forget, right? So they had a lot more, they had a, a fairly decent number of experienced players on their team. So it's not sub 5k. Which is good, because I don't like playing a sub 5k. It, I, I agree, it, do, it definitely doesn't feel as legitimate as uh, as other things, but at the same time, I'm definitely not playing against a team that's supposed to be balanced out for this tank, this account's 80% win rate, if that makes sense. <laughs> because, uh, that, this feels like genuine, like, old school pubs. And I'm all here for it. <laughs> I don't mind. Because it's really painful otherwise, playing tier 10 right now. 400. Okay, teammates, are you not gonna kill that dude or what? Thank you. Nice. Alright, 405 is overextended a little bit. And we know where the grill at 15 is at as well. That's a 4202, not a 405. I can actually pressure that. Oh, buddy. Buddy done messed up big time here. Hi. <laughs> Hello, E3. Oh, these games are so sweepy, though. Sorry, 268. I really didn't mean to push into you there, sir. I was just driving forward to pick up the kill and didn't realize you were doing the same. Sure. Dirty mouse. Okay. Ah. Yes, stay tracked. Stay tracked. Good, 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 good. Got a boy. Oh my gosh, she just used both repair kits. Nice. <laughs> oh, the Z3. He's getting cooked. Oh my. But he just got permatractical lore. Get him, 268. 268 misses his shell as well. What is this? Oh my goodness. Watch, 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 watch. 
Yeah, easy. Perfectly timed. <laughs> Odd my cup is like, no, it feels like you have some 5k, but it's not the case. It's just like for some weird reason, SBMM isn't applied. So it feels really easy if that makes sense. But most of the accounts like this dude, 36,000 games, right? This player, 30,000 games. Okay, this one has 8k, so a bit lower, right? And this one, 89,000 games. Like, it's not like I'm facing uh, some 5k players. It's just a lot of very average players I'm facing, I would say. And I'm actually just easily able to capitalize on it. Fantasy, E100 or 60TP. Honestly, I've not played the 60TP since it got its changes, really, at all. Uh, and I did play some E100, and I wasn't a huge fan of the E100, so I'm going to be biased and say 60TP, but E100 probably still pretty good. Skill-based matchmaking. It was introduced last update, and it got so much backlash, Wargaming is removing it next update. <laughs> Basically, if you felt for the last, like, uh, ever since the last main patch dropped that the games have just been really rat, that's because of the matchmaker, probably. Um, especially if you have a very high win rate count. Like, the closer you are to getting 70 or above, goodness. Not fun. Not, not fun at all. I was, like, platooning with a very good player, and we were barely able to hold 70%, even though I was doing, like, 4,000 average damage in my STP. <laughs> We were barely able to get 70%. It's just, it's just like, it's crazy that you could have two extremely good players working together and everything, and they can hardly win 70% when ordinarily we would go 90% to sometimes even 100% sessions. It was just a hardcore nerf. And soloing, soloing pubs, I'm, I'm, it's hard to get over 60% at all. And it's just not fun. It's just not fun. It kind of zapped the fun of the game. Random games... Like truly random battles is there's a little bit of fun in that because sometimes you'll it's like a gamble you'll get a good team sometimes you won't but sometimes you just run into the most farmable scenarios ever and it's just a lot of fun when you get those games uh and i feel like that the sbmm kind of removed the individual individuality okay english uh, of playing really well and carrying your team i feel like it kind of removed that aspect from the game which sucked because that was one of my favorite parts about the game was that feeling of carrying a really hard and impossible scenario or like even though you're in a team of seven your gameplay mattered so much for getting your team a win or not because one player can be the difference between it's winning 70 percent of the time or not right and i, I just like that aspect of it because it actually made you feel good at the game <laughs> where he's like with sbmm it feels like sometimes no matter most of the time no matter what what you did you're basically just gonna lose and you just had to accept that which I wasn't a huge fan of. <laughs> I was definitely not a huge fan of that. And I was not cooking in that matchmaker. So I think a lot of players weren't either. Like we've all said, the best matchmaker is one that is 100% truly random. Because then um, everyone just gets like kind of a crazy experience in pubs. But if you're really good, you can definitely capitalize on that. Ooh, hello, WZ Light Tank. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm gonna tunnel you a little bit there, buddy. Just 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 to ensure. Alright, no Amorak shots, please. Thank you. I really don't like it. My Amorak eat it all the time in this tank. Like this here is a pretty good game. It, it's not an absolute sweep, it's pretty close, but it's not like the sweatiest game in the world that I'm playing. Like both teams are kind of just equally not good. Okay, IS7, you have 2,300 hit points. Why don't you be a man? Go take a shot for us. Thank you, sir. I do respect that. All right. We're actually losing this, so I gotta be a little bit more careful now. We also have to watch out for the 183's position. He's kind of an anomaly. I really don't want to get yeeted by him from one of my sides. So what I'm going to do now is probably pull back from here. I don't want that 183 to pop around the corner. Or E50M. Fortunately for me, E50M messed up and he's now one shot. So W. Okay. I can at least keep the E50M at bay. Nothing else. And hopefully my teams can deal, teammates can deal with the 183. Or the 268, because apparently they can't deal with the 268 either. Gosh. 268 has like lost no HP. Wait, am I the only one that's really shot the 268? 480, right? Hey, no way, that's crazy. My, my teammates are getting cooked by a 268. Oh, no, it's E50M. 
Hot shot? Not quite. Gotta watch for that 183, dude. Oh, snap. Oh, nice. He bounced. W. Okay, it should be over now for the most part. <laughs> Very sweaty game. Thank heavens my turret armor held up there. 5,000 damage dealt. But this has been like a very good balanced battle. Like I think this is what war you wanted to achieve. <laughs> these like very like balanced games, but like at least these battles are not ultra sweaty, so that helps. All right, IS7. I think it's time for you to push up, buddy. You're the only one with HP here. All right, IS7. Time to time to cook, brother. Let's not let this 268 escape our wrath. There we go. Oh, 268 is cooking. But is he cooking hard enough? No, I don't think he is. <gasps> yeah, I seven just cooked though. Right, 268 gonna run away. Woo wee! Saucy AG Alpha. 6,000 damage dealt. Nice. See? That was a good game. I really like that. I wish more pub games were kind of like that, you know? Or it's just like both teams are pretty much perfectly matched. The only reason our team did not get steamrolled that game was because I was there to capitalize on their mistakes. And that's how I like games to be, right? Like, my team was not really the best there, but they weren't so bad that it was just an instant one-sided sweep, right? Like, I really had to work pretty hard in order for my team to get a win there. I had to do over 6,000 damage, right? Pick up three kills. Um, if SBM matchmaking was like that, you know, I wouldn't mind it so much. <laughs> but right now, it just feels like it's a little too harsh on you if you're good at the game, and it makes it almost impossible to win a lot of times if you're, like, in a 70% win rate uh, uh, bracket. Hey, Fanis, did you watch the Blu-ray version of JJK Season 2? There are sick improvements. Did not, but I saw on YouTube. And, um, yeah, just being a MAPPA animator looks like such a painful experience. But I have I heard, like, a lot of the episodes were only, like, 30% completed when they aired. Because the studio has such dog water scheduling. What a fatness. Long time, bro. Hope these things are good. Thank you, CJ. Good to see ya. As always, welcome. Hope you're doing well and everything. What's SBMM? Bro, it's skill-based matchmaker. <laughs> I literally just explained that like a minute ago. Well, okay, it was like five minutes ago, to be fair. You might have just joined. Uh, if you did not know, it was a thing in the game for one update, and it'll be getting removed next update. Hopefully permanently, but I don't know if it will be getting permanently removed, but hopefully it's a permanent removal. I only miss playing it with friends on Discord and just having fun in rooms, training rooms. Game modes are pretty cool. I just wish Wargaming would bring Gravitizing, Big Boss, and Uprising back more often. Like, those are the three goaded modes. Those are the goaded modes. Every, I think everyone can appreciate those modes. Um, the other modes kind of suck. Not gonna lie. Oh, I got spooted by a Yeageru. Hmm. Eh. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I have no support. Look at the mini-map. No, this is, this is Jover for me if I stay here. This is Jover. This is risky, but I gotta do it. My whole team is in Narnia. Look at the mini map, dude. Like, look at the mini map. That's crazy. That's actually crazy, dude. Okay, as long as I get unspotted, I should be okay. I don't know if I can make it through here unspotted, but I gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe a boy doesn't risk it for the biscuit. Help, team! Help me, please! I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. <laughs> team, please. Clear him, Mouse. I believe in you, Mr. Mousy Poo. I believe. Oh, <gasps> you low rolled. That's such a skill issue. Okay. I am going to go back and defend spawn soon. I'm just waiting till I can cross unspotted, which is now. That's why I rotated out, boys. That is why I rotated out, because I ain't dealing with that in the slightest. What the heck? How did our mouse have a shot on that dude? Excuse me? Excuse me? I need to help our 268 and spawn. He's going to get yellowed. This is so bad. Are you 50M just completely neglected to help us on this side? I'll help you out 268, don't worry. You got a friend of me. Nah, skirmish is good. Skirmish is okay. Better than realistic. Realistic sucks, dude. It's only like good if you really suck at the game and then you want to practice getting more situationally aware and stuff like that. In which case, I do think skirmish uh, realistic is not the worst in the world. 
Hmm. Are you telling me the E50M's like not here anymore? Oh, no, he's here still. Get him, 268. No, 268. That's not how that's not how we do things around here, sir. Oh my gosh, Mr. 268, you're wasting all of our time. Oh my gosh, your 268. Just, just send it. Just send it. Don't worry about trying to flank him or anything. I'll track him in place. You just have one job. Send it. Psych. Okay, tungsten shells cook. Tungsten shells have cooked. My 268 is quite possibly the most unhelpful teammate ever, but I, I at least, at least he pushed up with me and noticed that our spawn was being neglected. I give him credit for that. Yes, I, oh, poor dude. He had the pause to say getting the A. <laughs> you know, you could just do that on the move, right? With the scroll wheel. Unless he has a scroll wheel on the left side where his driving wheel is. That could be why. This is the weirdest game ever, dude. Like what? I have never experienced something like this in Castilla before. <laughs> At least the 268 came and helped. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm very thankful for that because otherwise this game would have been Jover a long time ago. It could still be Jover. I could get 183'd when I drive around this corner, but I kind of have to make a play now because as you can see, my team's in Narnia and we're losing our mouse. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just not looking good for my allies. So I need to see if I can do something about this side of the map. Let's first start by trying to spot up this 183 if he's around here somewhere. So the 183 is not here exactly. Okay, that's good news. Bad news is uh, I don't want to overextend by myself into an E100 Yag or 183. We could all just delete my tank at a moment's desire. But on the positive side of things, I now know where the 183 is and I can start dealing with it. We have to focus the 183 out first because he is the one capping C and if they get C cap, that's not good for us. Oh my gosh. It's still not good for us. The Jaeger has just fired his gun. We might be able to clear out this 183 here. Of course it ricochets, dude. Teammates, let's not be so bad at the game now, shall we? Hmm, the Yak's pushing up. Okay. I, if I had managed to kill the 183 there, we might have had a chance. I might be able to cap B, actually. W, one shot 183, W, dead 183. Eh? Well, but wouldn't be Blitz without the spawn sniping E100, would it now? Anyhow, I need to go help my teammates out clear out this Yag here. Oh, Yag just fired, actually. I think Yag's pretty much done though. Well, the E100 is not AFK. That's crazy. I thought he totally was. Oh, that's not good. Very much not good. E75, you're going to need to flank him, buddy. Nah, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. I don't want to get stuck here and die. Please, don't, don't notice me, 100. Don't notice me. Oh, he's stuck. Go figure. Oh my gosh, E75, you have one job. Do it. Help me out over here. That's your one job, dude. Seventy-five. You have one job, dude. We lost. Dude, what was our E75 doing? He's full HP. Just yellow the Yag already, dude. Why are you stopping to shoot the 100? I should have just capped B, man. I thought our E75 was gonna flank the Yag, and then our Minotauro died to him. Oh my gosh, we actually lost that. I hate. <laughs> I hate these types of battles, man. When you're when you're full HP heavy tank just refuses to get his tank in there. They adding many new things, which is e eating my gigabytes. I should have just stayed and farmed the 100, dude. Low key, <laughs> my team maybe would have actually won. If I'd capped B, I I wasn't really paying attention to the clock to be honest. 
We, we wouldn't have won though because the cap deficit was too high, but if I had capped to B, maybe we would have had a chance. I just didn't think my teammates were going to struggle so much to help me clear a Yag. Like, that that completely caught me off guard. I thought, I thought you know, it would be quick, the Yag would be over, the BGG, but the, the Yag was just not getting dealt with very quickly at all. So our team... Yeah, my teammates died in the process of trying to deal with them, so it was kind of, it was Jover. Oh! For some reason, I didn't think he would, most of his haul would be covered there. Silly mistake by me. Really? Well, that's not good. I gotta get down from here. Oh my goodness, what are my teammates doing, man? Can we go already? I really don't want to sit in front of this M60 here all day. Thank you. Plus I'm getting cross fired out, which is not very joy enjoyable experience. Okay. Teammates and I should be able to clear out the CS here. Good stuff. We should be able to clear out the M60 as well. Also good stuff. And if the 1 to 1B is still here, we can work on clearing him out too. Very nice. Alright, good stuff. Alrighty! Well, that was a bit of a weird start to the game. Uh, it took my team a little bit of time to push up, so I was like, wasn't sure what was what was happening there. Oh boy, Paul and the Yo is sitting in the back of spawn. I respect his I, ex I respect his courage. Oh Big Batty 3 making life difficult for me. Okay. Oops, my Discord notification. Okay, what do we got here? E3 is waiting for me. E5 might overextend. E3 is still waiting for me. E3 is still waiting for me. E3 shoot at the frog, please. E3 is refusing to shoot at the frog. Okay, I see how it is. Fired. Alrighty, well, this is Jover. <laughs> That's about it for damage. That was a pretty fast game. Fortunately, my team managed to wreck Medside, and our mouse was just sitting in B, so he just pr basically stalled the enemy team for a long time. But as far as damage is concerned, uh, your boy is not farming too much this game. Woo! 69 HP. Very saucy indeed. <laughs> Love you, Fanus. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. Well, we did all right. Let's get one more like good, solid one to one game in. But I've been enjoying the one to one. I, I, I do actually think switching to Rammer was the play for me. Um, I always played it with more Rammer loadout, and when it's more of a Rammer loadout, I'm less likely to sit and trying to uh, take those weak shot peaks, and just more likely to reposition myself to utilize DPM. And that's actually worked out much better. I have not been pent to the turn as many times versus just kind of sitting there trying to aim and heat shells at tanks. So it kind of forces me to play a little bit differently. Um, you should use supercharger and refined gun just for the content. Uh, why does everyone assume I'm not running refined gun? I, I, I swapped to refined gun pretty like um, 30 minutes into the stream or so, I think. <laughs> supercharge is not necessary in my opinion. Um, it has gun oil, which I did take off. I thought my team was going town, but I just realized they're just sitting in spawn. They, they haven't even made up their mind yet. I'm gonna go town. I can't be bothered. That side kind of sucks. I don't want to get stuck facing a bunch of fall down meds in better positions than me. Um, covered by a bunch of TDs and stuff. Well, I was not expecting that though, at the same time. However, at the same time... All right, well, we know where one of the TDs are. That's that's fantastic news for me. Who ricocheted on my hall and pinned me somewhere else, I guess? I, I suppose that's just how, how it be nowadays, huh? Ricochet pens do be crazy. Oh, 
don't tell me. Hey, yo, don't tell me, buddy. is actually hurting. Dang, my teammates are actually kind of insane over here. Not gonna lie. Although there's a TD like back there somewhere we gotta watch out for, but I'll take it. I'll take it. We can get the cap too. We'll have to watch our flank though. But it's a 268. It might be better for me just to go back and defend our rear, to be honest, rather than pushing it to a 268 that has cover. Yeah, I think growing back and helping my team in spawn was probably the better play here. Okay, 57, I'm here with you. Oh, oh, buddy, you, you don't have to run away, though. Running away would be a really bad idea, I think. Okay, E4 just fired. Good, E50M is yellowing in for me, apparently. Doing what all E50Ms do, which is just yellowing in. We managed to track him, though. I use this dude as a bit of a meat shield here. Meat shield acquired successfully. Nice. Outplaying all of the piggies over here. Get outplayed, E50M. Get outplayed. By yours truly, Mr. His Royal Fatness. Anyways, I'm dead here because the bat chat now wants me. <laughs> really, guys? You have to commit. <laughs> they lost so many ticks yelling me in the 57. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess well played to the 57. If I was the 57, I would have turned and cleared the E50M first and then dealt with the E4, but. Sure, <laughs> D92 is not cooking. <laughs> oh my gosh. They had to yellow an E4, a BZ, eventually a Batcha, and an E50M over here to clear out 121 one, and 57. That were both like half health. <laughs> oh my goodness. Blaming, blaming RNG. LOL, who's blaming RNG? G one to one Giga Chat Enjoyer. Well, that was a pretty good game, wasn't it? That was funny, actually. Kind of slick with it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go play Gravity. See, curious. Thanks for dropping by. So I'm gonna find gun RNG sucks. So I must use the vertical stabilizer. Therefore, I automatically assume everyone uses these tabs. I don't know if specific equipment has too much RNG associated with it. Just the percentage value. The uh, uh, percentage reduction, or whatever. The one time's my favorite tier to med. It's a pretty good med, isn't it? Really easy opponents, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, that was st still though. It was kind of amusing. Once the uh, once the matchmaker is back to normal, I'll go back to my own account, and I'm sure that games will go back to how they usually are. A little bit more sweaty, but at least not the same level of sweat as SBMM, which just did not make the game fun at all to play. Which is weird that like, quote unquote opponents are easy because it's not like I'm I'm playing sub 5k matchmaker. Like all these other players, like some of them have like over 100,000 battles experience and these are the type of games they're getting. So I, I don't really know how that works, but uh, how it does work is they're not very good. Hey yo, who said the one to one had zero millimeters of armor on the hatches? The one to one B because that was a dead center hatch hit. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is so easy, dude. They had so many meds, but none of them could take hill. And now it's just Jover for them. Woo wee! Look at that gun sing. Bruh. <laughs> Buddy is lost. <laughs> Being on the good spawn of mines is like one of the better experiences in this game. Being on the trash spawn sucks, but being on the good spawn is just like, oh, it's so easy. <laughs> because this position is very one-sided. The other side can't really hold a position like this one, the one I'm in right now. Mm. 
Maybe I should start pressuring this side a little bit more. Oh, hello, BZ. Make you switch ammo types real quick there. And then we have this one to one here. He just wants to get tracked. Oh, he damages my track, though. Gotta respect it. Respect his commitment to the YOLOs. Okay, frontal shot, no ammo rack damage. Thank you. Thank you. Last thing I want is my ammo rack to get damaged again. <laughs> nice, he's cleared out. Ah, I got baited. This is a uh, chill, a chill fest. Oh my gosh, the one. Oh, that was a misfire. <laughs> but then you didn't see that, okay? I promise to you, I'm not complete garbage at the game. Already. Gam conk. W conk. Welcome to the mind experience. Oh gosh. I believe. Oh, I had faith. I had faith that my faith came true. Let's go. That's crazy. I was actually not even really expecting that to hit, to be honest. All right, boys, it's time. It's time to do it. Oh yeah, the 23 just fired. I didn't even use tungsten at all this game, by the way. The tank's still cooked up. You really don't need tungsten in this tank to get it to cook. 5k. Nice. <laughs> you just need a, a good hold on spot. Uh, they definitely knew who they were yellowing. Yeah, I think so. I got to use with 75 crew just when I purchased it. Very nice. So I said it was a 50 50 to pen the, the one to one beat. Oh, uh, one to one beat turret. Oh, I thought they said I like zero millimeters on the front. I'm like, huh? That's about three hours of one to one gameplay. Kind of cook. Uh, I'm probably going to get ready to wrap things up soon, which means you know the, you know the drill, guys. You know the drill. 23 time. <laughs> Gotta have at least one funny, funny, haha, funny 183 game. Well, good evening, fans. Happy Easter. Thank you very much. Happy Easter to you as well. Not Easter for me yet, but soon it will be. Soon it will be. Ace badge, let's go. Uh, not quite. Not quite an ace badge. Or he decides the one has garbage, got depression, so they buff everything else. But what about the poor, poor CS? Um, Just pretend the CS doesn't exist, okay? You'll, you'll save yourself a lot of pain and suffering if you do that. <laughs> what are the VRT changes though? Huh? What a joke. First class, dude. I was just sitting farming. It wasn't going to be an ace. I got an AK ace earlier. I got a few 6,000 and almost 7,000k aces. I was fine with that. The 5k doesn't need to be an ace. That goes to show though that the 1 to 1 is quite popular actually. Because, you know, you'll know a med's not very popular when the ace bar is like 4k or 5k. Or people just really suck at playing it. One of the two. Anyhow, one to one time. We we uh 183 time. It's time to cook. Have faith. Have faith in my chef abilities. And I also have faith in our Giga Chad IS4 that will be spotting up the whole mid and right side for us. What a lad. What an absolute lad. Come on, come on, come on, come on faster. Oh! My RNG is already cooking! My RNG is already cooking. Let's go. All right, IS4, be, 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 the, be the MVP of the game. Spot up the enemy team for us, will you? Oh my gosh. Target acquired. No! I should have popped a throttle in now. I missed such a golden opportunity there. Ah, oh, the pain. The pain of missing such a golden opportunity, man. Holy smokes. I'm Sag. I am actually Sag, man. Speaking of being Sag, we have ourselves a good old fashioned T1 3 here who wants to get Hesh the Dwarf. Oh, yeah, really good for us. Thank you. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad, I suppose. We were... We were casually cooking, as I would say. Hello. 
we still need 100. Yeah, that's right, Ricochet. Take 900 to the face. Okay. We are still doing all right. Hey, we actually ricocheted in the 183. That's an accomplishment in and of itself, I think. You know what's crazy is D100's reload, if he's running calibrated, is not going to be much faster than mine. Although it might be just fast enough for him to get the shot off here. Yeah, barely. A couple seconds. Oh, am I running rammer on this account? That's a 19 second reload. I'm pretty sure that means I'm running rammer. Come on, poke me again, dude. Okay, what on earth is happening this game? Like, for real, for real. This is just a wacky as can be battle on this map. Come on, back up a little bit more, mouse. Back up a little bit more. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Enemy armor is Insane. We hit those. We hit those. Okay. I think I'm running Ram around my 183 some, for some unbeknownst reason. And uh, that's. A really stupid idea, so, uh, yeah. Oh, that's not, that's not it, Chief. Oh, but you know what is it? I actually need to get on B, low-key. Oh, no, our Tomb 5 is doing it. What a man. Let's go. Uh, I think I need to put Calibrated back on, by the way. That pen is pretty bad. Oh, my gosh. What? What is the Leo one cooking? <laughs> what a weird battle. Okay, not quite the not quite the nuke at 183 gameplay I was looking for. I need to put calibrated back on. Why am I running rammer on this tank? It makes no sense to even put rammer on it. I don't know what I was cooking when I put rammer on this vehicle, dude. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> Um, I'd love to, but I have recently started college and haven't been able to play for three, four months. Not college is a pain. Ah, wasn't good luck with that. Good luck with that, but it, it'll mostly be worth it. Um, wait. I am not running rammer. Since when did the 23 have a sub 20 second reload without rammer? Am I that lost, guys? Am I actually that lost? <laughs> I thought it had like a 21 second reload. I, uh, I play the 23 all the time and I never noticed his reload was sub 20 seconds with double food and calibrated. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you have any idea why Wargaming rotates maps every season? I guess simply there's just too many maps in the game. I don't know. Something along those lines. Too many maps, too many master players to learn, I guess. But like, I still think it's, um, I think it's better to keep them all in. That way players just get used to what's in the rotation. And then if you are going to take a map out, like remove it permanently. Don't just like take it out for a couple, a few months and then re-implement it. I think that is kind of silly to be honest, but I see where they're coming from. It's just like, there's so many maps they are trying to refresh it and make it a little less complicated. But the only problem is each time a map's reintroduced, these players don't have a clue how to play it. Also, you're getting nuked, buddy. Oh, well, not quite, but almost nuked. 23 armor, Loki kind of chatting. Wait, I have an idea. Because I think I know what's gonna happen. Well, I had an idea, but unfortunately the bridge is just a little bit too tall for me. Also, my teammates are losing med side as well as heavy side. Like, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Ooh, but you know what else is kind of crazy? How aggressive these two are being. All right, let's pick up a very necessary kill there. Our rear is getting rinsed though, so we'll have to start making a bit of a play over here. Maybe we can kill the IS-4 for starters. Oh, that's going to hurt. I knew it would. I need to help out our eyes for their or mouse, I mean. Mousey, poo. Mouse, stop blocking all of my shots, dude. Holy smokes, dude. I'm trying to help you out, man. I can't help you if you're blocking all my shots like that.
I've done did my best over here. Oh, my loader's dead. I was like, why is my reload 20 years? That makes sense. All right, Mr. Yag. Send it, chief. Hello, Mr. E3. All right, all right, all right. I have a dream. I have failed my dream. I have failed my dream. All right, yeah, let's bully him instead. This sounds like more fun. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to hit the HE on the on the hatch there. You can see it's penable uh, with standard HE, but it hit just a little bit too high. That's crazy. All right, oops, I am messing up my controls now. Good job to our grill. He cleared the IS-4. Okay, this game did not cook for me. Did not cook. I did not get any of my hash shells in. Oops, sorry, Yagaru. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a team player. Might be the end of me if I get spotted crossing in, but we do need to stop the cap at least. Of course, the Sheridan's just sitting there, dude. Gotta be careful in case they send someone up through the right side now. I did what I could. I got my team to cap. That's all I can do from now on. If the TVP gets respotted, I might be able to nuke over here. It's a big if. It's not worth it. I need to stay safe, to be honest. He can't cross for me right now. That's that's the important thing. Real spotted. That's one down. Two down. Did what I could, boys. Did what I could. My allies just sat there and got gamed on by a grill. That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually crazy. They got absolutely gamed on, and I was the only one that went to actually retake C-Cap there. Dang, man. Our console 1B was not cooking. Oh, well. 3.7K. Could be worse. I don't know how our med side got screwed over so bad. I swear we had, like, three dudes on med side. I think 7.6 update. They removed um, two maps. I roll that hash. I did not. I roll the hash. One and two. Um, what maps? Are we talking about Mirage and Dynasty? No, 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 no. Lost Temple. Yes, those got removed, I think, to get reworked. And I don't know if they are ready to be reintroduced yet. GG fan is thanks. I did my best. Is it going back? Lost Temple and Mirage? Yeah, I, I'm not sure about Lost Temple and Mirage, to be honest. I don't know. Also, who snipes in a 183? Sniping's for losers. Frontline only. Frontline 183 is where it's at. Said nobody ever. That was actually knew what they're doing in a 183. All right. Ah, oh, VK90 E100 405. Gosh, this is not it. Hmm. Confounds are at least just covering our two meds, but I don't know if they'll be enough, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go help the heavies out a bit pretty aggressively here with the 263. Hopefully, that'll be enough for my team. Really? Who does this? How is he getting away with this diabolical gameplay decision? Like, seriously, who does this, man? Do you want to help me out over here, 263? No way am I just getting yellowed here. That's crazy. This is VK90, dude. He's just tunneling for me. Oh my gosh. And this dude's just tunneling for me as well. Oh my gosh. Nice team. What is this? I, this has to be one of the most unhinged pushes I've ever seen. Like, what? What was their team cooking, man? I mean, they were the ones getting cooked, but still. That has to be one of the most insane YOLOs I've seen from a team on this map before. Enemy 
Oh my gosh. What did I just witness? Their whole team just piled up over here, dude. Not a moment's hesitation. They all just sent it and they're like, sir, we, we don't want to leave anymore. Gotcha. <laughs> Shout out to that 263. We had the 263 cooked. We had the 263 held really well there. And you know what? The VK984 provided good cover fire too for, for a change. Can someone please explain to me what their team was thinking? <laughs> like, for reals? They just sent five tanks over the ship. No hesitation. Not enough passion. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I looking at? Yeah, is this dude gonna move or he's just gonna sit there? Uh, I think he accepted his fate. I don't I don't think I'm gonna be fast enough to get to him, to be honest. So that was a good game. <laughs> don't change eye contact too fast or else it show uh show nervousness and you don't want that. Bandits, have a presentation tomorrow. Any tips? Don't try and memorize a specific speech pattern or like word for word. Memorize key points. Have like a, if you're allowed notes, right? Those little notes. Have key points memorized that you want to talk about. And then just do some practice rehearsals, but try not to get trapped into like one defined uh, scenario. Except for answering questions. That's, that's always good to practice a little bit. Um, don't fidget too much. Try and maintain a degree of eye contact or the illusion of eye contact. You can do that by glancing over the head of the crowd uh, or whoever you're presenting to, but that's really important. Don't talk too fast. Just try and keep things chill when you're doing your presentation, right? Have a confident sounding voice, make eye contact, maybe a little hand motions, stuff like that. Definitely try and avoid filler words like, uh, um, so, and, you know, stuff like that. That's not going to be very helpful for you in in showing your confidence in the presentation i know i'm it sounds like i'm saying a lot but these are all these are all i think pretty helpful tips for public speaking and not to boast but i've always always did very very well in my classes for the presentations so uh, take it from me i've had lots of experience with presentations whenever it came to a group project regardless if it was a six-man group project <laughs> i did most of the presentation every single time Okay, guys, it's not that hard to kill any 100, right? Well, the enemy team's yoloing at it again. That's crazy. Uh, so yeah, just keep things pretty, pretty calm and collected and do your best. And don't worry too much. Everyone hates speaking publicly, so just try and remain calm. <laughs> well, not everyone. Most people do. I wouldn't be doing it for, uh, semi-work if that was the case. <laughs> Dang, you didn't even have a spawn. No, I'm throwing. Did the E3 at least shoot? I'm dead. I am dead, dude. My whole team is chasing after a Sheridan. I'm all by myself over here. Okay, okay, pull, pull past my... Nice, 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 nice. Okay, if anything, I gotta kill the Sheridan... The, the, the M48 Patton here. I'll just hash this dude. I don't have much of a choice, to be honest. Hashing that dude's my last option. Oh, team. Dude. This is the issue when a whole team goes one way, is your idiots just keep chasing in circles, yoloing into crossfires. Like, look at our 50B, our TVP, our Sheridan. Like, these players, the 4202, instead of just digging back into spawn after killing the 100 and, and receiving the enemy's push through our own spawn, well, 57 too, they all just keep yoloing in circles. And and they die. Cents from now oh, apply. well, this dude dies the too. The question eventually got so random that I managed to study, study quantum, quantum physics, physics to answer, answer any of them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, exactly. I will become a quantum physics master. All right. Well, that was an uh, interesting battle. I want one more fun game in 23. Meanwhile, homie never gave me the practice presentation. What are you talking about, Button? I, are you talking about your group project? I literally was the inquisitive in what? Was it an investor? No, not an investor. You were trying to sell me something, Button. I, you know what? We spent, what, six hours on that? I think, uh, I think that was enough. <laughs> I think that was enough. <laughs> uh, 
Speaking of, what's the smallest recognizable distance? $4.99 from Narkly. Speaking of, what's the smallest recognizable distance named? Oh gosh, smallest recognizable distance named? Uh, you know what? You, you probably got me there. Definitely not like a nanometer or something stupid like that. <laughs> Would you like to inform me? Educate me? Thanks for the donation, by the way, Nikolai. <laughs> Would you like to educate me on the art of the smallest distance known to mankind? <laughs> where, where are you from? Oh, no, no, no. Like, some people don't, like... Like, everyone has to give presentations at some point, but, like, the degree of presentations can differ a lot. <laughs> Plank length? One dollar and ninety-nine cents from now. Plank, plank length. Plank length. Plank length. Plank length. I've never even heard of plank length. What? Is this factual information? You should. You should have been a fine art student like me. Spent most of most of my time in the pub. LOL. Yeah, but like, how many how many careers is fine art gonna get you to? I mean, it might do well if you're good at art. Actually, you can do really well. But I, I don't think I have that type of talent as an artist. Even though I do enjoy art as a hobby. <laughs> I asked for the practice presentation lore. When? When did you ask for the practice presentation lore button? One dollar and ninety-nine cents from Narkly. Which communist <laughs> which com dictator caused the most deaths? <laughs> well, that one's pretty easy. That would be our uh, very, very friendly World War II ally, Mr. Stalin. I believe. Or, ah, oh yeah, it wouldn't have been Lenin. It had to be Stalin, right? <laughs> that dude was pretty, that dude was pretty messed up. All right, what is happening this game, dude? None of these games make any sense anymore. Like, I genuinely don't know what I'm watching anymore in any of these battles. Alrighty. Like, what is happening, dude? It don't even make any sense. These games just don't make sense, my dudes. Oh my goodness. Hey, oh, was I wrong? Was I wrong? Uh, well, all I knew is he killed more than certain factions in World War II, to be fair. So I assumed he was the most, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm not a history major, guys. I don't really study history. Don't hate. Amarak? <laughs> not quite. He's bad, man. Oh, Mussolini. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I completely forgot about his existence, to be fair. <laughs> if, if that's true. <laughs> I, uh, yes. I'm, I, as you can see, I'm a very talented history person. Oh my gosh. L l look at this Jeff Maestro over here. <laughs> the IS-7. Wait, Yag. I'm too busy reading the, uh, the Q&As in chat. I'm not even paying attention to the games anymore. This is kind of funny, honestly, at this, at this point. Was it Mao in China as well? Okay, okay. Wait. I need to, I need to see this. Um... Which dictator killed the most? <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem right. Mao, 49 to 78 million. Mao is the correct. Stalin would have been, I think, second with 23 million, assuming this list is correct. So, yeah, let me go all the way to number one. So you're right. You're right. My bad. Uh... My, my Chinese history clearly is lacking. Mao, 49 to 78 million. Second place is Stalin, though, at 23 million. Third place is a, a name that I can't say without getting probably demonetized. Um, yeah. Ah! Kideki <laughs> Tojo. Did not realize. Okay, I got my information. I did not get my fun game in, though. Uh, I want... The fun game. In the 1e3, but the 1e3 was not delivering. So, let's play one battle in... What did we end it off in? Let's play one game in the Leo. We'll end it off in the Leo. Sound good? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming this, this is a correct. If not, 
Oops. One dollar. Bro, we turned the stream into trivia. <laughs> Bro, we turned the stream into trivia. The figures from out can go over 100 million. I'm sure they could actually, because like the thing is, a lot of these. Like, uh, I, I need to actually clarify on how the deaths were specified for each dictator and whether or not it's based on people that, like, they exactly killed or if, like, their policies caused a famine that caused this and this such amount of people to die because of poor handling of food distribution and stuff like that. Like, you never know, right? So, I, I'm not sure how they're specifically, um, categorizing a, a death of a, of caused by one of these leaders. Oh, my Leo, my Leo, my love. As I always say, though, don't compliment a tank too much. Still, I love you, Leo. You are mine. You are my only one. Okay. So, here's the problem. We don't have much vision here. Silly poke on my part. Probably should back down already. Okay. I gotta be ultra careful, man. I gotta be ultra careful here. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a bat chat. Of course, it's a bat chat yellowing me. Oh wow, look at that little 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 rat chat doing rat chat things. Wow, your tank is so good, dude. Talent. All right. Now I'm getting yelled by the Karo as well, dude. This game is insane. Come on, let me high roll this dude. Ah, uh, still got full health for it. Okay, team. Hello. Oh my gosh. Y'all have not done a single shot of damage to the 777. Okay, we lose this, dude. There's no way. And, um, it looks like the WZ-132A just, like, dipped. Dude, just ram them. Oh my goodness, what am I watching? Okay, that's not it. Love the Leo, do not love the team. The team was an L. The team was a massive L. Okay, you know what? The Leo's DPM cooked though. It did cook. <laughs> Let's end it with the peakest of all tanks in the game. CS63. Can't leave it on the game, that's that bad. Uh, the figures from Cultural Rev and Great Leap aren't fully understood. Uh... Is Naval Frontier removed? No. Yeah, actually, it is cycled out. You're correct. Naval Frontier is cycled out right now. True, true, true. Leo is your babe. It is my babe until I get yellowed by a rat chat. I hate rat chats. I hate the players that play it too. Not really, but like, just brain dead. I, there's no other way of putting it, dude. Bat chat YOLO Leo. Bat chat gets brought down to 100 HP for one clip of damage. Like, there's no logic in their gameplay decisions. They just YOLO and clip. The good bat chat players are low-key more annoying because they game on you even harder, but it's just the rat ones that yell you. The bat chat's just like the new TVP, low-key. It's just really busted for what it is, and it still griefs you for a thousand in a few seconds. There's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately. Uh, CS63, also dog water tank, but I'm doing it for the memes, to be honest. Yerushal. <laughs> Let's go. Peak. Peak blitz vehicle vehiculars right here. I should be a lane three around this corner. If there is, I'm so donezo. Nice. I want to love this CS63, and I genuinely do hope one day Wargaming gives it a proper buff, a buff where I don't have to run ten trillion different consumables in order to make the gun work efficiently. Would be really nice, because right now it's like. Everything about this tank that's good requires consumables. And if you don't have the consumables, it's just terrible. Well, it's kind of terrible anyways, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Okay, I gotta watch for the 183 here. He's waiting to cook me. Boink. Yep. And of course, doesn't even aim. And he hits that. Because, you know, this tank is so good, man. It has so much armor on the turret. You can see he hits the outside of the corner there. Clearly not enough for the vehicle. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. This tank truly is painful. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh my gosh. The motion gun blocks my shell. That's crazy. You 
No, I'm not overextending here. I don't trust my teammates, to be honest. I need the backups to the 100 doesn't start griefing me as well. Also, the, TV, the the CS getting, like, the CS's aim time feels abnormally long for what it is, you know? $4.99 Thank you for the dono, play. and thank you, Rob, for becoming a member. Interesting complains about the batch out as much despite being arguably more effective at winning than even the old TVP. Oh, it's not as annoying as a TVP. That's why. It's still annoying, trust me, but it's not on the same level as the TVP. The TVP was just, you know, you do nothing and you lose 1,200 hit points. The, it, it was just broken beyond measure right when it had the really good accuracy mobility and everything so the tvp is this game did not cook i haven't won another one the tvp is still annoying but at least now it, it loki kind of sucks no way oh i'm getting cooked here is it still reloading or something what is game crash I can't tell if his game crashed or if his brain crashed. One of the two. Actually, if that's the case. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm gonna run. We have cap. We have cap. Wait, someone just went through B. Someone just went through B. We do not have cap. We do not have cap. It's the VK90. 960. Let's go. <laughs> we got the win. Yeah, I mean, Batchet's still really annoying. But, you know, like, the, the Batchet just yolos in. He gets brought down to 100 HP just to do, like, a thousand damage, you know? He lost all of his hit points for it. But it actually worked out in his favor. But my team was pretty bad, to be fair, in there. We got to give our Leo a second chance. I still did top three there. And he ends up doing 4k damage somehow on 100 hit points. Even though he only got a thousand off, the, off the bat. Like, that's crazy. I can't believe we won that. I, I want a good game in the Leo. Because Leo's my baby. <laughs> I, I, I got I got to have a good, decent game in the Leo, man. That was not a good Leo game. Not that there was much for me to do there. Although, I should have rotated out the town. I was a bit distracted with the chat. And I didn't realize my whole team was going to take a million years to kill an object 777. Uh, and it looked like I had a bunch of tanks that would crossfire up from our spawn. So, I probably should have pulled back a little bit. STB still is very good. Yes. VK90 is still good. I haven't played it in a long time, but from what I've seen, yes, the VK90 still cooks. <laughs> STB is considered tier 11. STB is considered tier 10.5. Nice cap. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm glad the caps worked out in our favor there. And um, unfortunately for them, the TVP's game crashed. I don't see how else mans would just be sitting there spinning in circles. Bless his poor decrepit soul. All right, come on, Leo one. It is time to cook. Not the best map for you, but I have faith in your ability to cook, my dude. Yoink. And track shot. Dang it, why do I not just go for the guaranteed side shot? I tried going for a track shot and ended up just missing completely. My heavies are pushing up, right? Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. My heavies are not pushing up properly. Come on, heavies. You just have one shot. Push up with me. That's all you got to do, boys. You just got to push up with your homie. Help him out on the on the middle here. Don't let him get completely YOLO'd. And the problems are solved. All right. There's the frog. Not really sure where my shots are going. Maybe it's time I use reticle calibration or something. Yep, and there's the 268 pushing up pretty aggressively now. I know I probably should just get out of here completely, but I don't want to completely abandon one flank just because my allies are not providing a ton of support. Wait, where'd the 57 go? The 57's yellowing me from down low, I swear. Nope, bad idea. Bad idea. Don't don't overpeak. I should not be overpeaking that. That'd be a really silly idea on my part. I'm doing my best from back here. My teammates are slowly clearing med sites, so that's the good news. I just have to keep holding here for a little while longer. Once our YAG and VK start pushing it, we'll be okay. Oh yeah, prog dropped down anyways too. W. Alright, well this worked out. It was a very weird game though. Like this is one of those wacky scenario type battles, you know. 
Dude, really? Gonna yell in front of my whole team just to tunnel me here, dude? Really? That's adorable. Oh, look at the Zigzy Due. <laughs> what a sweet little 62. Leo's gun is cooking. Oh, okay. Very nice. Not still not the best game. Like, what on earth was I watching this battle, dude? <laughs> this is not what I call cooking. <laughs> what was that game, dude? My match did a good job in corner. Oh my gosh. I do miss my nine degrees of gun depression on Leo. Not gonna lie. It, it's noticeable having eight instead of nine. It's not the worst case in the world. Good job, Leons. <laughs> lions, Lions, Leons, I don't know. Um, but it is, it does leave a lot to be desired, to be honest. But uh, I guess we'll leave it there, right? Yeah, I think that was a pretty chill game. Oh. What is your most hated frontline tank destroyer if you encountered it as an enemy in battle? Um, I actually don't mind E3s all that much because HE spam. E4s usually don't have good players in them. XMs are pretty chill. Yags are a little annoying. 263s are really annoying. It would either be the 263 YOLOing you and you're not in a tank that can counter it and or outmaneuver it, the pen. Um or a 113 GFT. Yeah. Minotaurs, thankfully, are super slow, so you can counter them pretty easily. Probably 263 or 113 GFT are the most annoying to really get dealt with. Badgers would be problematic if their guns weren't so terrible. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Fun stuff. Okay. Oh, that was a good stream. I had fun in the 1-2-1. I had decently fun games in the after after the main credit stream event was over. Uh, an interesting Q&A. Thank you very much, the Cly. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Hey, bro, watching for the Philippines. Hello, hello. Shout out to the Philippines. All right. Well, WZ121 is still cooks, and I actually still really enjoy it. Uh, I did notice that maybe the turret armor feels a bit like there's more weak spots in the front than I than like back in the day, but uh, once I put my rammer load out on it, play the jack that client next time next time next time I, 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 I'm, I'm doing the, the outro right now we, we gonna chill we're gonna chill thank you very much though uh reminds me next time to play the yaga play game in it all right got you there um but yeah it, it works it works it's gun is still really really good i actually found i preferred the rammer loadout just because i like to utilize this dpm alpha combo a little bit more uh, than trying to rely too much on its pen and haul down capabilities. And once I made that swap, I started getting consistently better games, I feel. Uh, so, yeah, you know, but it's, it's always best to run equipment best for what suits you and your play style in a vehicle. But the tank definitely still cooks. The one to one actually cooks pretty hard, too. Next time it's in shop, I'll probably have to stream it, as I don't remember the last time I streamed this tank, but it's it's gotten so many busts recently. Definitely have to check it out sometime and uh, and whatnot. But yeah, hopefully you guys all have a great rest of your weekend. And if Easter is a thing you celebrate, happy Easter to you and your families. And if not, hopefully you all just have a great weekend and stuff like that. Thank you very much, everyone, for the donations, for liking the stream, for the gifted subs uh, for being active in chat and everything really do appreciate having y'all here as always and until next time take care and peace